It's game day on MFL TV. The Commercial Hotel Strathalban, 27 High Street, Strathalban. Great location, beautiful meals, friendly service. Pop in for a coldie at the Commercial. Dine-in bookings, phone 0885 362 021. Proudly supporting local sport. Frost Motor Repairs. Specialising in mower repairs, engine repairs, check out our range of GTA 26 pruners. For all your gardening needs, 26 Main Road, Langons Creek. Phone Daryl, 85 373 071. Appleseed Cafe is located in the picturesque township of Strathalban. It's the perfect place to enjoy a delicious breakfast or a tasty lunch in a relaxed, friendly environment. Appleseed Cafe, 30 High Street, Strathalban, 0885368195. Bridge Hotel, right in the heart of the creek. Drop in for a coldie after the game. Meals available, 70 Bridge Road, Langons Creek. Phone 0885373010. No stress, pest control, residential and commercial to general households and businesses of all kinds. Servicing the Fleurio and the Murraylands. Phone Nigel 0412-325-085. Discover the story of Gypsy Jack and catch her in the freshness and vitality of today's lifestyle, sealed in a bottle. Gypsy Jack, The Wine House, 1509 Langons Creek Road, Langons Creek. Phone 0885-373-441. Gypsy Jack, we know you'll be back. At Howling Gale Wines, we make our wines from single vineyard fruit with the Howling Gale Winds off the lake that provides a wonderful grape growing climate to produce succulent jewels on the vines. Dog Lake Road, Langon Creek, phone 0885 373 144. HGH Developments, rock crushing, civil earthworks and retainer walls, specialists in quality construction and infrastructure. No job too small, no project too big. 248 Brook Road, Woodchester, phone 0458 613 705. Radnor Marino and Paul Marino Stud was founded in 1982, but the name originates from 1930 and Frederick Kohler. Stephen Breck continued the Radnor tradition at 1917 Langons Creek Road. Need a Marino or Paul Marino Stud Ram? Contact Steve 0407 099 465. Radnor, a name you can trust. Got any gaps in your field? Give Greg a call. He's a Harry of all trades, specialising in plastering and painting. Harry can restore your home fast phone 0407 977 231 Bleasdale Vineyards and Wines to capture the essence what makes Langons Creek wines so attractive vibrancy harmony texture cellar door open wine tasting available 1640 Langons Creek Road Langons Creek phone 0885 374 000 Bleasdale's since 1850 are you a developer requiring road construction do you need a car park built for your customers convenience how would you like a stylish new Asheville driveway? Triple A Asheville, 20 Scarborough Way, Lonsdale. Phone 0883 983022. Lake Breeze Wines. We are proud of our heritage. Lake Breeze has earned an enviable reputation for consistently producing outstanding wines. 319 Step Road, Langhorn Creek, 85373017. Lake Breeze, outstanding wine since 1987. Cowden Insurance. Cover for commercial and corporate businesses and liability comprehensive legal liability exposure and personal insurance. Office 102 Greenhill Road, Unley. Phone 0883 000 888. Cowden, insurance for all. Spacecraft Joinery, specialising in kitchens, cabinets and joinery. Needing more space in your kitchen or thinking about upgrading? Call the team at Spacecraft. 4 King Street, Strathalbum. Phone Nathan on 0885 364 680. Platinum Ag Services. Looking to buy or sell livestock on the Flurio? Contact Ben Don't 0437 856 327. Any wool inquiries? Jeff Clark 0427 
678 498. Platinum Ag, putting ag back in agriculture. Bremerton Wines. After experimenting with Cabernet and Shiraz, the first grapes were planted on our farm in 1991. Further plantings followed. Cabernet, Shiraz, Malbec, Merlot, Vidello, Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc. Bremerton Wines, 14 Kentown Road, Langon Creek. To order, phone 85 373 093. Bremerton Wines. It's our life. The rest is history. Is your machinery maintenance up to date for a full mobile service and repairs? A plus auto electrical, 1 Donald Street, Strathalban, phone 0428 820 487. We, we come, come to you. Foreman Turf are specialists in all types of instant turf, from small orders to large. We have great varieties to suit your front garden. We can also arrange delivery. 1178 Langons Creek Road, Langons Creek. Place an order 0885 373 243. Clemco Almond's new range of roasted almonds. You can try spicy, smoky and toffee coated roasted almonds or simply go for our scorched chocolate almonds. They are the best. Clemco, 633 Michi Road, Bletchley. To order phone 0418 804 105. Strathalban Auto Electrical provides a wide range of auto electrical and mechanical services and products. They are a recognised leader in the auto electrical service industry in the Flurio and Adelaide Hills, South Australia. Strath Auto Electrical. 45 Milnes Road, Strathalban, phone 85 363 244. Widdoms Transport is well placed to meet your transport needs, servicing Strathalban, Langons Creek and surrounds since 1964. Widdoms Transport, 53 Santa Grove Road, Strathalban, phone 85 362 477. Cutting Roxley and Associates. We take a hands-on approach to helping you achieve goals, whether you need a bit of help to get your personal tax in order or a small business owner looking to save money and time. We're here to help you. Cutting Roxley and Associates, 2A Alban Terrace, Strathalban. Phone 0412 936 992. Based in Strathalban, South Australia, Aaron Martin Construction Designs and builds custom homes throughout the Adelaide Hills. We build forever homes, thoroughly planned and designed to suit your family, your lifestyle, your land and most importantly, your budget. Contact info at aaronmartinconstruction.com.au or visit 8 Santa Street, Strathalban. Maidment Meat Service, servicing Strathalban and surrounds with quality meats since 1977. Third generation butchers at your service, made to order and meant to please. 15 Dawson Street, Strathalban, phone 0885 362 618. Glenn Semple Electrical, for fast and friendly service, contact Glenn, who can assist with all your electrical needs. Glenn Semple Electrical, 63 Dunreath Road, Strathalban, phone 0417-893-053. Beyond the restored exterior of this historic 1865 Bluestone building, the Victoria Hotel in Strathalban is a country hotel with a difference offering all the luxuries you'd expect. Located conveniently in the heart of Strathalban, 16 Alban Terrace. Meals, accommodation and a coldie. Phone 85 Bella Torre Constructions, a family-run building business based out of Strathalban, servicing the Flurio, Adelaide, Murraylands and Southern Adelaide. Buildings, concrete and alterations. Phone Todd 0448 770 517. Della Torre, award-winning construction. There is only one way to get your team top of the ladder. Bridge Aluminium. Manufacturing under the brand All Weld, making platform ladders, orchid tripod ladders, tradie ladders and mezzanine ladders. They also manufacture vehicle canopies, ute trays, toolboxes and perform truck fit-outs. Are you a tradie, farmer, who can never find the tool you need on the back of the ute? Never look again. Install Bridge Aluminium custom-built toolboxes. They are built to fit, lightweight and make storage easy. Talk to the team today. Aluminium material sales, platforms, boxes and ladders. Their range is the best. Get in and see Bridge Aluminium. They have you best dressed. Drop in to 225 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge. Email sales at bridgealuminium.com.au or phone Ian on 8532 5884. Bridge Aluminium. When it comes to ladders, they're the top team. Do you need a bright spark to help sort out your electrical issues? Whether it be residential, rural or commercial, the team can provide the spark to get you back in front in the Murraylands, Mallee and surrounding areas. Specialising in new homes, rewires, vaults, servicing, maintenance and light installation. Whether it be commercial, industrial or domestic, phone 0417 807 257 for a free measure and quote. Richard Elliott Electrical, 
The Bridges Bright Spark. Six and out, old mate. You mean window and out. Mum's going to kill us. Mum's going to kill you. No worries. I'll fix it fast. Who are you going to call? Row Aluminium and Security. Specialising in windows any size. Security doors, roller shutters, bathroom screens, fly screens and general window repairs. Call Darren for a free measure and quote. Phone 0885 321 230 or visit their showroom at 44 Old Princess Highway East Side, Murray Bridge. Row Aluminium and Security, where your security is our business. And it's a very good afternoon from Strathalban and a little bit of a rushed start here for us. We're underway, the first couple of balls just chopped down and no run. And again, back to the bowler, no run. Very good start here by the Creeks and stay with us right through the afternoon here on Murray Lands Football and Netball Sporting Results. Strath winning the toss and batting. And tried to play a little cricket shot then. Cut down on it and through to the keeper. No run. So the opening bowler for Leon's Creek is Chris Russo. And played away there by Strath. And they pick up the single to round out the first over. It's one, none for one. And welcome back here to Strathalban. And a bit of a look at the, today's teams. And up on screen there, Langons Creek with a very dangerous Ben Warren, Dan Crop, And for Strathalban, the very dangerous Luke Cousins and the Abbott brothers as the bowler from... the Northern End or the main entrance end for Langons Creek will be Troy Blackwell
And the umpires today are Daryl Harper, the former Australian umpire, international umpire, as Blackwell bowls and played out two point. And the batsmen get through for a quick single. And Josh Pegler, a local umpire from Mount Barker, is officiating up this end. And Cousins whacks that through the covers, a sweeper out deep. And through for an easy single. So Troy Blackwell again from this southern come off the uh, non-striker. Good fielding there by Langons Creek's Darcy Pake and the batsman scamper through. Outside off stump and Cousins cracks that out to the deep point and well fielded out there by the sweeper and thrown back in and good glove work there for Leon's Creek by Frost. Blackwell right up in the block hole, crunched out to short cover. Good fielding there by Tonkin. Maddie Tonkin. And that's where Blackwell will have to be, right up in that block hole. So he comes in again from the northern end, cracked out to point, good fielding. And the batsmen scamper through for a single to round out the second over here at Strathalbyn. It's no wicket for six. The Commercial Hotel Strathalban, 27 High Street, Strathalban. Great location, beautiful meals, friendly service. Pop in for a coldie at the Commercial. Dine-in bookings, phone 0885 362 021. Proudly supporting local sport. Frost Motor Repairs. Specialising in mower repairs, engine repairs, Check out our range of GTA 26 pruners for all your gardening needs. 26 Main Road, Langons Creek. Phone Darrell, 85 373. And Hoyt Dover Square, beautiful shot, and it's got there. Great shot there by. That was a beautiful shot by Riki. Up and over, and didn't give the deep square down there a chance. And picks up a four. And Russo will have to pitch him up a little bit more than that. That's a better ball. And Riki plays it down to Midon, who's deep. And thrown back into the bowler. Anything short's going to bounce up that wicket's very hard. And it'll give the batsman the opportunity. Russo short. Oh, missed by the keeper. Runs down towards the boundary, and that will be four. And I think that was boys. Didn't see the umpire signal anything, so we'll put it down as buys. So handy runs there. And as we go around the field, the Creeks with a deep fly slip, a deepish gully. Got a man out on the uh, deep cover boundary doing the sweeping, cover, mid off, mid on. 
and played off the pads by Cousins and Dugger Warren does the fielding behind square leg and the batsman scamper through for one two Cousins Flying solo, our other commentator will be here very shortly. Russo, all oh, reeky in two minds then. And almost got crossed up to round out the third over. It's no wicket for 17. Appleseed Cafe is located in the picturesque township of Strathalbyn. It's the perfect place to enjoy a delicious breakfast or a tasty lunch in a relaxed, friendly environment. Appleseed Cafe, 30 High Street, Strathalbyn, 0885368195. Yep. And Blackwell pitches it up and crashed out to deep cover. And the sweeper does the job down there and Luke Cousins gets off the mark. I was just talking to him then and he said, yep, no excuses. <laughs> I've been rolling the pitch all day. So the curator here at Langons Creek and Callington. And beautiful shot by Riki gets it through. That's run away quick. Beautiful shot. Four runs. Oh, that was a splendid shot there by Riki. And four runs. Blackwell just giving him way too much room on that occasion. And, of course, uh, field restrictions at the moment. They can only have two players outside of the circle. And Riki well forward, wrapped on the pad, a half shout there from Blackwell. Not out. So they're going with a... Deep third man and a deep cover of the two players outside the inner circle. Then inside we have a slip point cover, mid off, mid on, mid wicket and backward square. Right up, driven well by Riki, out towards mid off and a good diving save there. And if that had got through, this oval's quick. And as I was saying in the pitch report, umpired a few seasons down here and I reckon the oval's looking the best I've seen it. As uh, Blackwell bends the back on that one, straight through to the keeper, a dot in the book, and that's what the Creeks will be looking for, a few dots in the book in this T20. As the uh, Strather on none for 23 in this fourth over. Blackwell from the northern end, cracked away by Cousins, not sure of the single rake. He called him through quick. And a good judge of a run to round out the fourth over. It's no wicket for 24. Bridge Hotel, right in the heart of the creek. Drop in for a coldie after the game. Meals available, 70 Bridge Road, Langons Creek. Phone 0885 373 010. No stress, pest control, residential and commercial. To general households and businesses of all kinds. Servicing the Fleurio and the Murray Lands. Phone Nigel 0412 The picturesque Strathalman. It's the home of the Stallions and it's the T20 round three match. Strathalman versus Langhorns Creek. And we've got a change in the bowling. Pick up who that is in a moment. And it is Benny Warren from that southern end. Oh, trademark Warren. Quick single, shy down at the non-striker, the striker's end. And Riki easily through, and they complete one. 
So at the moment, Riki's been the man doing the hitting and Cousins just seems to be content to play around the singles. And rotate the strike as Warren gets a bit of bounce on this one. Riki drops it down and runs through for a quick single. Creeks won't mind the dot balls and the ones. They'll certainly want to be uh, cutting off any boundaries. Ryan up there, driven outside edge through gully. The third man will come round and do the fielding. And the batsman complete two. So I think that's Cousins' first two. And Strath move on to 28 without loss. Warren all played off the hip down leg side. And they scamper through for a leg by. So a leg by there. And this takes a score to 29. Warren, southern end, short of a length. Pops up, drop down on the leg side. Well fielded there at mid-wicket. To round out another over. Five down. It's none for 29. At Howling Gale Wines, we make our wines from single vineyard fruit with the Howling Gale Winds off the lake that provides a wonderful grape growing climate to produce succulent jewels on the vines. Dog Lake Road, Langon Creek. Phone 0885 373 144. HGH Developments. Rock crushing, civil earthworks and retainer walls. Specialists in quality construction and infrastructure. No job too small, no project too big. 248 Brook Road, Woodchester. Phone 0458 613 705. Radnor Marino and Paul Marino Stud was founded in 1982. here to Langhorns Creek and the new bowler at this northern end will be Adam Clements. Clements to Cousins and right up there Cousins drops it down on the offside and runs through for a quick cheeky T20 single. And really our, our spoiled our team. We've got the best outside commentary box in the state for country sport. And we have again got a picturesque oval right in front of our glass window as the Strath batsman Riki dropped that down. And they've scampered through for a quick single. So... Clements here will be want to be right on the money. And it's been a reasonably good start. At the moment going along at uh, around about the five and over, just short of five and over. A bit of a field change here. Uh, Creek's just moving that slip out to a mid-wicket in front of square. Clements, all short, ducked into there by... Cousins, he's okay. Wow, we. That was a beauty. And Cousins just headbutted it away. Said, thank you very much. Got me. Clements again. And Cousins flashes outside the off stump. And he's wild with himself. Maybe a bit of a brain fade. You, you can't blame him. He just got knocked in the brain from that previous ball. As Clements got his back up. Outside off stump. Dropped down to point shy at the stump. So oh, Rakey would have been gone. That was a bit suicidal. But he's home. And once again... We see a single two Cousins.
Pretty good over this one here for Leon's Creek. Clements keeping it very tight. Bowling from this northern end. Down leg side. Flicked away off the pad. And through for a leg by to round out another over. It's none for 33. Bradnor Marino and Paul Marino Stud was founded in 1982, but the name originates from 1930 and Frederick Kohler. Steve and Brett continue the Radnor tradition at 1917 Langons Creek Road. Need a Marino or Paul Marino Stud Ram? Contact Steve 0407 099 465. Radnor, a name you can trust. Got any gaps in your field? Give Greg a call. He's a Harry of all trades, specialising in plastering and painting. Harry can restore your home fast. Phone zero. 0407-977-231. Bleasdale Vineyards and Wines. To capture the essence what makes Langons Creek wine. And welcome back to our live coverage from the Strathalban Oval. It's Ben Warren from the southern end. Reiki chips it off the uh, pads. Smashes it down to deep square. And the batsman amble through for a easy single So of course, the first six overs done. They can have an extra field route. That's cracked to cover, and he's gone. Luke Cousins has hit that straight in the air. And a great catch at cover. And the Creeks get one on the board. Bleasdale Vineyards and Wines. To capture the essence what makes Langons Creek wines so attractive. Vibrancy, harmony, texture. Cellar door open, wine tasting available. 1640 Langons Creek Road, Langons Creek. Phone 0885 374 000. Bleasdale's, since 1850. Are you a developer requiring road construction? Do you need a car park built for your customer's convenience? How would you like a stylish new Asheville driveway? Triple A Asheville. 20 Scarborough Way, Long Phone 0883 98 3022. Lake Breeze Wines. And welcome back here to Stallion Park. We have got the most picturesque setting here in front of us. And it's great that you can join us here on Murraylands Football and Netball Sporting Results. Streaming through our Facebook channel. And of course, streaming through our Vimeo. And you can also pick us up down at Victor Harbour on the Flurio app. And many thanks to Susie Williams for promoting local sport through their app down there at Victor Harbour. As it's uh, Ben Warren continuing from the, well, for us, the top end, if you're familiar with Strath, from the old basketball pavilion end, or the southern end. And the first ball, no run through to the keeper. And suicidal, well run by Strathalban. And Luke Cousins was the last man out for 15. And well run there by, I think that's uh, Matt Abbott to the crease. And Matty Abbott in terrific form for the Stallions. As Ben Warren here, he's got both arms going, swinging the changes. Very experienced campaigner is Ben Warren. And many thanks to Ben for what he's done for our page. And wrapped on the pad there, Reiki. Ball bobbles out to point no run. Warren Reiki chips it off the pads out to the leg side. Forward square leg comes around. Little thumble, no damage done. And they pick up an easy single to round out the seventh over. It's none for 36. 
We are proud of our heritage. Lake Breeze has earned an enviable reputation for consistently producing outstanding wines. 319 Step Road, Langhorn Creek, 85373017. Lake Breeze, outstanding wine since 1987. Cowden Insurance, cover for commercial and corporate businesses and liability. Comprehensive legal liability exposure and personal insurance. Office 102 Greenhill Road, Unley. Phone 0883 000 888. Cowden. Insurance for all. Spacecraft join us. And back live, a good start here for the Creeks, picking up one wicket as the Strathalbyn Stallions. Not quite, about five and over, which is a good start, but they'll be looking to build on that from this point as Cleggett comes into bowl and Reiki flat bats it straight back down the pitch. Oh, tried to whip him off the pads on the leg side and runs down and does his own fielding. No run. Bring that ball right up there in the block hole. Give him nothing. Clements, this time whacked over mid-wicket. Good fielding down there for the Creeks by Blackwell. The batsman always going to get through for two. So two more to Reiki, Reiki, whichever school you went to. Clements again. Ah, oh, good catch. Beautiful catch down in the deep by Blackwell. And Riki is on his way. The Stallions lose their second wicket. Specialising in kitchens, cabinets and joinery. Needing more space in your kitchen or thinking about upgrading? Call the team at Spacecraft for King Street, Strathalbyn. Phone Nathan on 0885 364 680. Platinum Ag Services. Looking to buy or sell livestock on the Flurio? Contact Ben Don't 0437 856 327. Any wool inquiries? Jeff Clark 0427 678 498. Platinum Ag. Putting Ag back in agriculture. Bremerton Wines. After experiment. And the Stallions picking up a second wicket. Now, the umpire's just having a little bit of a confer here, aren't they? Bit of a committee meeting by the Creeks. Not sure what all that was about. So if you've just joined us, we have former international cricket umpire Daryl Hare officiating. He's officiating down the southern end and... Local umpire in the Alexander and Eastern Hills, Josh Pegler, officiating up the northern end, our end, the commentary end. As Riki was the last man out. And a pretty good performance, almost a runner ball. 20 off 27, a good performance opening the batting. As it will be Mark Abbott to face the music. And it will be... Clements, down leg side, turns it off the hip to fine leg. No one down there, no. He's got a bit of uh, a leg buy out of that one. And they come back for a pretty easy two. So it looked like from this end he might have turned it off the hip. But not to be. Nevertheless, still two onto the score. Takes the Creeks, sorry, the Strathalbyn side to two for 40. Clements from the northern end. Abbott just chips it off the pads. That's a beautiful shot. Maximum points. 
Six runs. Oh, look, he put no effort into that at all. Just timed it to perfection over the uh, square leg boundary. Wouldn't get a more elegant shot than that. And the end of another over. It's two for 46. Remington Wines. After experimenting with Cabernet and Shiraz, the first grapes were planted on our farm in 1991. Further plantings followed. Cabernet, Shiraz, Malbec, Merlot, Videlo, Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc. Remington Wines, 14 Kentown Road, Langon Creek. To order phone 85 393 093. Remington Wines. It's our life. The rest is history. Is your machinery maintenance up to date for a full mobile service and repairs? Hay Plus Auto Electrical. 1 Donald Street, Strathalban. Phone 0428 820 487. We, we come, come to you. Foreman Turf, a specialist in... Welcome back here to Strathalban Stallion Park. And another one of those cricket clubs that have a different uh, nickname than the football club. Of course, the football club here, the Roosters. And the cricket club, the Stallions. Uh, changing the bowler from the top end and straight away... Whipped away to deep square leg. And the batsmen scamper back for a quick two. And a good shot there. By Roberts. The southern end, short of a length. Tucked off the hip, down to fine leg. And good fielding there by Blackwell. And the batsman through for one. And very good square of the wicket to Mark Abbott. They've got a uh, deep fine leg and a forward square as Abbott turns that one around the corner to fine leg. And they pick up an easy single. And, of course, a change in the bowling from that southern end. Darcy Pake coming back into the attack. And he'll be bowling to Roberts. Pike. Oh, beautiful nut right up at the toes. Gave him nothing. And he just flat chopped it down on it. And it was almost the old cyclone shot. Of course, cyclone a brand of shovel. And he really did dig it out. Pike to Roberts. It's full. Slashes at it. Inside edge. Abbott crawls. Calls him through quickly. And they get a run to round out the ninth over here at Strathalban. It's two for 50. Types of instant turf. From small orders to large. We have great varieties to suit your front garden. We can also arrange delivery. 1178 Langons Creek Road, Langons Creek. Place an order 0885 373. 243. Clemco Almonds new range of roasted almonds. You can try spicy, smoky and toffee coated roasted almonds or simply go for our scorched chocolate almonds. They are the best. Clemco, 633 Meachie Road, Bletchley. To order phone 0418 804 105. Strathalban Auto Electrical. And welcome back here to Strathalban, the home of the Strath Stallions and it's Alexander and Eastern Hills Cricket T20 and we have got one of the most beautiful settings here at the Strath Alban Oval in our commentary box and the RSL crowd starting to lift in the grandstand down leg side tried to turn it round the corner Bit of an appeal for a wrap on the side of the pad. Well bowled, Chris Russo. And 
driven straight down the ground to mid on. Well fielded down there by what was that, Daniel Cleggett. And Roberts picks up a single. So the T20 using a lot of the slower type bowlers. The uh, batsman's generally got to make the pace in that case rather than having the ball coming on quick with a pace bowler. As Abbott turns that off the pads down to deep backward square. And the man down there comfortably gets it back in and they pick up another one to Mark Abbott. He's the key Mark Abbott. Very good batsman in the Saturday competition. Has gone for the big heave. Oh, Roberts. Big swing. No ding. Great bowling there by Russo. Russo again right up in the block hole on the 20 cent piece. Smack down to deep mid on and well fielded down there by Cleggett. And they pick up an easy run. Good work here by Russo. This is a good over for the Creeks. Oh, that one's a bit of a looseness. Smacked around the corner. Fine. Well done down there by the deep square. And they pick up a single to round out the 10th over. It's two for 54. Strathalbyn Auto Electrical provides a wide range of auto electrical and mechanical services and products. They are a recognised leader in the auto electrical service industry in the Flurio and Adelaide Hills, South Australia. Strath Auto Electrical, 45 Milnes Road, Strathalbyn, phone 85363. 244. Widdoms Transport is well placed to meet your transport needs, servicing Strathalbyn, Langons Creek and surrounds since 1964. Widdoms Transport, 53 Santa Grove Road, Strathalbyn, phone 85362 477. Cutting Roxley and Associates, we take a hands-on approach. And back live. And played off the... Uh, Hips there by Abbott. No run out to backward square. Well fielded out there by Jacob Tonkin for the Creeks. Oh, beautiful uh, scenes here at Strathalbyn. Oh, over the top of uh, backward square. Go out towards the boundary. It will be stopped. They'll pick a couple up. Good work down there by Warren, thrown back in. And they take one on the throw. Good running by Strathalbyn. And they pick up three very handy runs to Mark Abbott. He goes on to 13. And it's Paik continuing to bowl from the southern end. Right up there, driven straight down the ground. Roberts looking for a cheeky run, but not to be. Good fielding down there by, I think it might have been Adam Clements. And good little crowd building here at uh, Stallion Park as... Big swing by Abbott. No, sorry, Roberts. No connection. Big swing, no ding. And great bowling by Darcy Paik. A dot in the book. That's what the Creeks need. Paik to Roberts. Drives it straight down the ground. He's got onto it well, but it's gone straight to the mid on. Just can't get it off that centre wicket. Hope you're enjoying our coverage from Strathalbyn. Beautiful weather here. Beautiful conditions. Pike short of a length. Oh, asked a few questions on that one. And Roberts, no answers. The end of the over. 11 down. It's 2 for 58.
to helping you achieve goals. Whether you need a bit of help to get your personal tax in order or a small business owner looking to save money and time, we're here to help you. Cutting Roxley and Associates, 2A Alban Terrace, Strathalban. Phone 0412 936 992. Based in Strathalban, South Australia, Aaron Martin Construction Designs and builds custom homes throughout the Adelaide Hills. We build forever homes thoroughly planned and designed to suit your family, your lifestyle, your land and most importantly, your budget. Contact info at Aaron Martin Construction. And good fielding there by Russo. Very important in T20 matches that the bowler ends up being the 11th fielder very quickly as soon as he's bowled his ball because the batsman can quite easily around that wicket pick up quick singles. Driven out to point, gets through past, out to the deep and well run by Strath. They pick up two. And the sweeper down there. At deep point, a bit of work to do. Well, Russo's not going to want to bowl there. He's going to get put away every time. This time, short of a length, gone for the big swing. Got a bit of an edge on that through the slips. And the batsman come back for two. A little bit of luck there for Matt Abbott. Sorry, Mark Abbott. And... Strath pick up a couple. So we just have a look at that field now. They've scampered everywhere. We've got a deep square, a deep mid wicket. And through to the keeper, a dot in the book. Yeah, deep, uh, deep backward square, deep square, deep mid wicket on the cow corner, and deep mid on, snuck around off the pads. And fielded down there by Square. Deep Square. And they pick up one to Abbott. So the Roosters here, or the, the Stallions, they'll be looking for a boundary. And there it is. Driven straight down the ground. Beautiful hit. One bounce right in front of our commentary box. And they pick up four runs. Great finish to the over. It's two for 66. Based in Strathalban, South Australia, Aaron Martin Construction Designs and builds custom homes throughout the Adelaide Hills. We build forever homes thoroughly planned and designed to suit your family, your lifestyle, your land, and most importantly, your budget. Contact info at aaronmartinconstruction.com.au or visit 8 Santa Street, Strathalban. Maidment Meat Service, servicing Strathalban and surrounds with quality meats since 1977. Third generation butchers at your service, made to order and meant to please. 15 Dawson Street, Strathalban, phone 0885 362 618. Glenn Semple Electrical. Welcome back live here at Stallion Park and a change in the bowling. And Langons Creek are bringing Troy Blackwell back into the attack. And he'll be bowling to Matt Abbott. Real class Matt Abbott with the bat and the ball. Blackwell round the wicket, down the leg side. Well taken by the keeper, but the umpire's having none of that. And he's called a wide. Great take there by Frosty. Blackwell's going to have to get his line back. That's a better ball. Tucks him up, squares him up. And Blackwell runs in and does his own fielding. Just trying to change the angle up here. Blackwell coming around the wicket to the left-hander, Mark Abbott. Abbott dances down the pitch, but he gets out of sequence, and he's got a little nick on it. Wowee! He's gone! Beautiful bowling. Great work by the Creeks. And Abbott's on his way. Caught behind for a well-made 17. Glenn Semple Electrical. For fast and friendly service, contact Glenn, who can assist with all your electrical needs. 
Glen Semple Electrical, 63 Dunreath Road, Strathalban. Phone 0417 893 053. Beyond the restored exterior of this historic 1865 Bluestone building, the Victoria Hotel in Strathalban is a country hotel with a difference offering all the luxuries you'd expect. Located conveniently in the heart of Strathalban, 16 Alban Terrace. Meals, accommodation and a coldie. Phone 85362202. Bella Torre Constructions, a family run building. And back live here at Stallion Park and good little crowd in the house. And it is Strathalban who are batting first. And the Creeks have got rid of one Abbott. But I can give them the bad news. They've got another one at the crease. It will be Matt Abbott. And he's a big, strong man is Matt and just had a chat to him before the game and really genuine nice bloke as Blackwell asks a question first ball and Matty swings it off the shoulder round behind square and they've run through for a single And Mark Abbott, the last man out for 18. Oh, beautiful shot. That's all the way. Six runs. That's a big hit by Roberts. And he's told Blackwell, you put him there, I'll hit him over there. That was brilliant. That's maximum. And leans on his back and says on his bat and he says, Hey mate, give us a few more. Well Blackwell's gonna have to pitch it up and he kicks the dirt, he's not happy with himself. And a good way to increase that run rate very quickly. Just hit him over the fence. Saves running too. Blackwell, huffish a bit more this time, but played to a square leg and they pick up a leg by. So, one more to the Sunries. They move on to three for 76, the Stallions. Blackwell to Abbott. Drives it. Gets a thick edge. Down to third man. Good fielding there by Ben Warren. And they pick up one to round out the 13th over. It's three for 77. Bella Torre Constructions, a family-run building business based out of Strathalban servicing the Flurio, Adelaide, Murraylands and Southern Adelaide. Buildings, concrete and alterations. Phone Todd 0448 770 517. Della award winning. And back live. Light. And back live here at Strathalban. And I hope you're enjoying our coverage of the two top teams in Pool B, Langons Creek and Strathalban. And the winner here will go through to the final, which will also be live streaming. And that'll be against Nan Bremer. They look to be the top team in Pool A in this competition. So it will be from this uh, northern end. Darcy Pate continuing, and he'll be bowling to Matt Abbott. All short, Abbott cuts it out to point, and they pick up a quick single. And that's what they've got to do, uh, Matty Abbott. He's got to try and pick up the singles and give uh, the fancied Roberts the strike. 
And 10 runs off that last over. A great over for the uh, Stallions. Pike to Roberts. Where will this go? He has a go. It's down leg side. And a wide. Great pressure by Roberts. He opened the stance up. Showed him that he's going to build it over the fence. And that little bit of pressure made the bowler stray down the leg side. Pike to Roberts. Swings hard. Thick edge down to fine leg. And they scamper through for a single. Roberts moves on to 17. And the score to 3 for 80. So just get our statistician to work that out. They're running along at about just over 5 and over. And through to the keeper plate right over the top of that one did uh, Matt Abbott. And a beautiful setting here at Strathalbyn. It's a magnificent office we've got to work out of. Many thanks to our sponsors. As Pate comes in again, Abbott played right over the top of that. Through to the keeper, another dot in the book. Current run rate is 5.7. So looking at the last few overs, four, four, nine, and ten runs off the overs. Pake, Abbott, gets onto this one, cuts it through, gully, point region, that's four. Beautiful shot. Well, he had to hit one sooner or later. And that time it was four runs. Abbott moves to seven. Well, Pake's going to have to pitch it up. Comes in again from the northern end. Driven by Abbott through the covers. Risky two. Well run in the end. And Abbott picks up two to round out another over here at Strath. It's three for 84. Construction. There is only one way to get your team top of the ladder. Bridge Aluminium. Manufacturing under the brand All Weld, making platform ladders, orchid tripod ladders, tradie ladders and mezzanine ladders. They also manufacture vehicle canopies, ute trays, toolboxes and perform truck fit-outs. Are you a tradie, farmer, who can never find the tool you need on the back of the ute? Never look again. Install Bridge Aluminium custom-built toolboxes. They are built to fit, lightweight and make storage... Live here at Stallion Park and great little setup we've got here in play and cut through the covers beautifully by Roberts but a man out there sweeping the boundary and they pick up one. A good little setup we've got here. We're working with a light and as we've said in previous commentary, they don't restart the play until we've got the sponsors ads played. Very important. We couldn't do this without the sponsors. So support the local guys that have supported us to bring this and make this happen around Langons Creek and Strathalbyn if you're watching our broadcast. As Abbott cuts that down onto the ground, they run through, just sort of put it down in front of him and they pick up an easy single. The keeper does the work there. And Abbott moves to double figures. He goes to 10. And through to the keeper there by Blackwell. No run. Well, Roberts will be fuming with himself there. Really missed a big opportunity. And he's looking at that area over square. There's a big gap between fine leg and cow corner on the deep mid-wicket boundary. This time he drives it out to the covers. And a man out there at deep cover comes around and picks it up and 
Roberts gets a single. Blackwell, Abbott has a little poke at that one. Don't poke it, son. Hit it hard. And through to the keeper, another dot in the book. So, Matty Abbott, this time gives it the full swing. Out, should be caught. Good catch. And Abbott's on his way. And the Creeks get their fourth scalp. Strathalbyn are four for 89. The Commercial Hotel Strathalbyn, 27 High Street, Strathalbyn. Great location, beautiful meals, friendly service. Pop in for a coldie at the Commercial. Dine-in bookings, phone 0885 362 021. Proudly supporting local sport. Frost Motor Repairs. Specialising in mower repairs, engine repairs, check out our range of GTA 26 pruners. For all your gardening needs, 26 Main Road, Langons Creek. Phone Darrell, 85 373 071. Appleseed Cafe is... And welcome back to live cricket in the Alexander and Eastern Hills. And it's great that we can bring this to you on Murraylands Football and Netball Sporting Results. You might even be watching us through our Vimeo account or down at Victor Harbour on the Flurio app. And it will also be uh, on YouTube. And, of course, uh, Matt Abbott, the last man out for 10. And looking at the run rate for great over there, that one for Langons Creek. So just the three runs, nine runs off the previous over and ten runs off the previous over. So ten, ten and three in the last three overs. So just putting the brakes on that last over, bringing the strike bowl of Blackwell back into the attack. And from this northern end continuing, it will be Darcy Pake. And through to the keeper and called a wide. Good call there by Josh Pegler. Of course, if you've just joined our coverage, we've got uh, Josh Pegler officiating from this northern end and the former international cricket umpire, Daryl Harper, in charge at the southern end. Pake to the new batsman, drives it straight down the wicket. Scamper through for a quick single and well run to get the new batsman off the mark, which is Harris. So five overs left. I reckon the uh, stadiums will be looking at getting, try and get a projected score here, probably about seven and over. So that would get them somewhere up around about the 125, 130 mark. Big hit. Beautiful shot. Over the top. Maximum points. That is a great shot by Roberts. And he's starting to tear this Langons Creek attack apart. I think that's his second six. And that was a big hit over Cow Corner. For maximum. So Pate just changing his line now, coming over the wicket. Hang on, I should say, around the wicket. And he's just going to bring... Blackwell, who was deep at mid-off, up inside the ring and shift the cover around a bit straighter. See, bowl short, and that almost come off the toe of the bat. Did not time it at all. And another dot in the book. Roberts going for the big heave-o.
Pake to Roberts. Right up in the block hole. Couldn't get any lift on it. Well fielded there by Blackwell. And a wideish throw in the end. The batsman could have nearly snuck two. And one to Roberts. So he's going along very nicely, Roberts, at the moment. Moves up to 26. Pake from the northern end. And Harris drops it down. Mid on, runs up and meets the ball. No run. Dot in the book. That's what you need at this stage of the game. Well, they'd be looking, the Stallions, to push that up to 140, 150. As Pate comes in. Oh, beautifully driven straight down the ground over the top. And it bounces through the goals. Great shot. By Harris for four. And that rounds out another over. It's four for 98. Appleseed Cafe is located in the picturesque township of Strathalbyn. It's the perfect place to enjoy a delicious breakfast or a tasty lunch in a relaxed, friendly environment. Appleseed Cafe, 30 High Street, Strathalbyn, 0885368195. Bridge Hotel, right in the heart of the creek. Drop in for a coldie after the game. Meals available, 70 Bridge Road, Langons Creek. Phone 0885373010. And welcome back live to Stallion Park here at Strathalbyn for the Alexander and Eastern Hills Round 3 Clash in the T20 competition. And we have got the most picturesque position here at the ground as the sun starts to go down. And beautifully driven by Roberts and they race through for a quick single and the new bowler is Clements I think just giving a few directions to his fielders and Harris on strike. That's short. Oh, he could have done anything with that, but he ended up turning it off the hip behind square. And the fielder comes in there. And they pick up one. So good over that previous over for Strathalbyn. They picked up nine runs. And that's probably the tally they'll be looking for in these last four overs. If they could get another 36 and get that up to 134, that will be a pretty competitive score Oh, funny shot, that one from Roberts. Beat him neck and crop. Went the opposite side of the oval where he wanted it to go. And they scamper through for one. Roberts moves to 28. As Clements continues from the southern end. Harris chips it over, backward square. Man coming around there. Oh, they almost collide in the end. And it goes over the boundary for four. Beautiful shot by Harris. And that brings up the 100. Yeah, all right, I can't count. <laughs>
And the end of the over. It's four for 105. No stress, pest control, residential and commercial to general households and businesses of all kinds. Servicing the Fleurio and the Murray Lands. Phone Nigel 0412. 325-085. Discover the story of Gypsy Jack and catch her in the freshness and vitality of today's lifestyle, sealed in a bottle. Gypsy Jack, The Wine House, 1509 Langons Creek Road, Langons Creek. Phone 0885-373-441. Gypsy Jack. And back on, and going to be paired up now, not running solo. Welcome to our special commentator, special guest. And it's a big hello to Jason Regan. Good afternoon, Jason. Afternoon, Brucey. Evening. What did I miss? Oh, you've missed a good performance here. We've got game on, and we have a change in the bowling from this. We're calling it the northern end, and it's the very experienced Ben Warren, of course, uh, Benny uh, coached Norwood to a premiership a few years ago and a magnificent sportsman, whether it's football or cricket. And he's left himself to bowl a couple of overs here at the death as he now comes in to bowl to the dangerous Roberts. And Roberts gets a little touch on it. Fine. They'll pick up an easy two. They'll push for three. Good running by Harris. Could be a chance. Oh, beautiful running by Harris. And they pick up three. And takes the total to four for 115. Looks like they're about to uh, launch their uh, attack in the last four overs, Bruce. Comes Warren again. That's short. Top edge, back he goes, just over the outstretched hand there at mid-wicket. They'll only get the single, though. Good throw back into the keeper. Keeps it to one. It's a shot of ball at the moment, Bruce. Yeah, well, they won't mind the ones. It's, it's the boundaries they have got to stop. They can't let it bleed. But uh, you wouldn't want anyone else bowling at the moment than Ben Warren. But shot. that is a beautiful shot. That is maximum over the top. Six runs. You won't see a better hit than that in T20 cricket. That's what people come to watch. And that is maximum. The old-fashioned slog to cow, Bruce. Um, down on one knee was better than a slog. That's a beautiful shot. Hoiked over the mid-wicket boundary. Roberts. Going beautifully. He's he stands down. on the right side of the bat too, Bruce. I like that. Well, it's not a bad ploy here. They've got the uh, the left-hander and the right-hander. Just mixing it up as Warren comes in again. It's wide. Chops it out to forward of point. And a little thumble there, but they get through for a single. Good comeback there from Warren. Don't want to risk putting it anywhere near the pads. Roberts clearing that front foot. Looking to slog to cow again. Wide outside off stump. Roberts on 38. Warren comes in again from this northern end. All gone for the big heave. Oh, did Harris. And big swing, no ding, to round out the 18th over. It's four for 126. At Howling Gale Wines, we make our wines from single vineyard fruit with the Howling Gale Winds off the lake that provides a wonderful grape growing climate to produce succulent jewels on the vines. Dog Lake Road, Langon Creek. Phone 0885 373 144. HGH Developments. Rock crushing, civil earthworks and retainer walls. Specialists in quality construction and infrastructure. No job too small, no project too big. 248 Brook Road, Woodchester. Phone 0458 613 705. Radnor Marina and Pole. Back live. And beautifully guided down to third man. There's two in this. Clever shot. Well fielded down on the boundary too. And they keep it to two. Beautiful shot, Bruce, off the back foot. Lovely just little guide. Delicate, wasn't it? Mm. Just delicate. He just guided it. Helped use the pace of the ball and just ran it off the face. 
down to that deep third man area. So they'll be looking to uh, contain it here, the Creeks. Dropped down by Robert, scampering for one. He's looking for the two. Definitely Coming two back. That. Throw comes in, needed to be a direct hit. And he took him on. And he gets through for two. Great running. Very clever. Langhorn Creek keeper took off after that. No one guarding the stumps down at the keeper's end. Roberts moves to 40. Real game changer. Oh, that's short. Could have gone anywhere. He chose very fine. Helps it on its way. And that outfield's quick. And it's gone for four. Beautiful shot by Roberts. That's good cricket. Exceptional cricket. Obviously pegged that the a deep fine leg was quite square. It's worked that fine straight over, basically straight over the top of the keeper's head for four runs, Bruce. Lovely shot, wasn't it? Just a bit of elegance. Champagne. Champagne cricket. You're getting a rattle on here. The first three balls of the over have all been pretty much pace on. You'd think we'd need to see something with pace off. Yes, they're just using the pace of the bowling, aren't they, to uh, put the ball around as guided this time by Roberts down to backward point, deep backward point, thrown in, and they get an easy single. Takes the score along to 135. So good over that last one, 12 off it. So far this one, 9 off it, 16 off the 17th over. What they're doing to the field here, we've got a deep backwards square for the right-hander. The fine leg's coming inside the circle. Pushing back a deep point, we've got a, a deep third man. Very similar field to the left-hander. Let's see what comes of this. He comes, left armour over the wicket to the right-hander. Straight back down the ground, will they get through there? They won't. They rush through for a single and get through anyway. Good shot. Good running there by Harris. And the Strath run rate, just a touch over 7, 7.1. 7 so going along very nicely. Probably looking at a score in the range of 140 to 145 at the moment. And they'll definitely need that against the Creeks. Short drop down. Oh, he missed it. Through to the keeper. No run. The end of the over. It's four for 136. Radnor Marino and Paul Marino Stud was founded in 1982, but the name originates from 1930 and Frederick Kohler. Steve and Brett continue the Radnor tradition at 1917 Langons Creek Road. Need a Marino or Paul Marino Stud Ram? Contact Steve 0407 099 465. Radnor, a name you can trust. Got any gaps in your field? Give Greg a call. He's a Harry of all trades, specialising in plastering and painting. Harry can restore your home fast. Phone it's 0407-977-231. Bleasdale Vineyards and Warren. Be Benny Warren bowling the last over, Jace. In comes Warren. That's a beautiful ball. Yorker length on the leg stump. All he could do was squeeze that out to square leg for a single. So good start to the over from Warren. Took some tap in the last over. I call that one uh, back in the Murray Towns the cyclone shot. That's it. Dug it out like a shovel. Just get the uh, mm. the pads out of the way and hopefully squeeze it out of there. Left hander on strike now. If he can bowl another five of those, Warren, he's not going to go for many in this final over. And he comes. Oh, he steps across, hoiks it out to square leg. That's six. What a shot. Magnificent shot. Read that delivery perfectly. Stepped across his stumps, did not uh, even worry about where the stumps were, knowing that was going to be wide outside off, it was. And he's hoiked it over square leg for six. Important shot. Takes them up to 143. What a magnificent knock this is, Bruce. Well, he really has been the X factor, hasn't he? He's come out, he's played them to all parts of the ground. And... Uh, well made half century, I think, Bruce. Up to yeah. 53 for Roberts. Half century. Warren around the wicket now. Oh, yes, that's much he's better delivery. Be it, and he's got enough on it to be caught behind, Jace. That's an important wicket. Big wicket for the Creeks. And what a great dig from Roberts. He's on his way.
four, fifty-three, and the Creeks uh, have got the Strath five for one forty-three. To capture the essence, what makes Langons Creek wines so attractive? Vibrancy, harmony, texture. Cellar door open, wine tasting available. 1640 Langons Creek Road, Langons Creek. Phone 0885 374 000. Bleasdales, since 1850. Are you a developer requiring road construction? Do you need a car park built for your customer's convenience? How would you like a stylish new Asheville driveway? Triple A Asheville, 20 Scarborough Way, Lonsdale. Phone 0883. 3983022 Lake Breeze Wines. We are proud of our heritage. Lake Breeze has live. Just waiting confirmation on the new batsman. It looks like might be Ben Cousins. As Warren comes in. Oh, right up at the toes, but it's down leg side. And he'll be really filthy with himself, Will Duggar. To re bowl that good piece of bowling uh, to remove uh, Roberts, very dangerous man in the last over. He already hit a six in the over, but to go around the wicket, smart move to the left. He cramped him up, got the edge, picked up the wicket. In comes Warren again now over the wicket to the right hand of the new man at the crease. That sneaks through to the keeper, full pitch outside off stump, no run. That's what the creek are looking for, Bruce, in this final over. Dot balls. And it is Ben Cousins on strike. Pretty hard to come in and smash him in the last over. Right up at the toes. Run suicidal. Oh. Shy of the stumps. And great effort by Warren. Cousins almost done the hammy. He's feeling for it. Good backing up too by uh, the Creeks in Clements. And they get one. Keep an eye on that, Bruce. I think he's got a problem back there, but either that or uh, some strapping is an issue. In comes Warren. Smash down the ground. In come the fieldsmen. Can they cut it off? They won't. That goes through for a goal and four runs. Beautiful shot. What a way to finish the innings. Another little grab of that hammy by Ben Cousins. That could uh, influence him somewhat when he comes on to bowl. If he can bowl, depends how bad it is. If he has torn a hammy, and that wraps up the innings for the roost, well, for the stallions, and they will finish at five for 149 from their allotted 20 overs, and a great performance by Roberts setting that up with a half century 53. So we'll take a short break. We'll play some words from our sponsors and we'll be back shortly with the second innings here at Stallion Park, Strathalban. Beautiful meals, friendly service. Pop in for a coldie at the commercial. Dine-in bookings, phone 0885 362 021. Proudly supporting local sport. Frost Motor Repairs. Specialising in mower repairs, engine repairs, Check out our range of GTA 26 pruners for all your gardening needs. 26 Main Road, Langons Creek. Phone Darrell, 85 373 071. Appleseed Cafe is located in the picturesque township of Strathalban. It's the perfect place to enjoy a delicious breakfast or a tasty lunch in a relaxed, friendly environment. Appleseed Cafe, 30 High Street, Strathalban, 0885 36 8195. Bridge Hotel, right in the heart of the creek. Drop in for a coldie after the game. Meals available, 70 Bridge Road, Langons Creek. Phone 0885 373 010. No stress. Pest control, residential and commercial, to general households and businesses of all kinds. Servicing the Fleurio and the Murray Lands. Phone Nigel 0412 0485. Discover the story of Gypsy Jack and catch her in the freshness and vitality of today's lifestyle, sealed in a bottle. Gypsy Jack, The Wine House, 1509 Langons Creek Road, Langons Creek. Phone 0885 373 441. Gypsy Jack, we know you'll be back. At Howling Gale Wines, we make our wines from single vineyard fruit with the Howling Gale Winds off the lake that provides a wonderful grape growing climate to produce succulent jewels on the vines. Dog Lake Road, Langon Creek. Phone 0885 373 144. HGH Developments, rock crushing civil earthworks and retainer walls, specialists in quality construction and infrastructure. No job too small. 
No project too big. 248 Brook Road, Woodchester. Phone 0458 613 705. Radnor Marino and Paul Marino Stud was founded in 1982, but the name originates from 1930 and Frederick Kohler. Stephen Brett continued the Radnor tradition at 1917 Langons Creek Road. Need a Marino or Paul Marino Stud Ram? Contact Steve 0407 099 465. Radnor, a name you can trust. Got any gaps in your field? Give Greg a call. He's a Harry of all trades, specialising in plastering and painting. Harry can restore your home fast phone 0407 977 231 Bleasdale Vineyards and Wines to capture the essence what makes Langons Creek wines so attractive vibrancy harmony texture cellar door open wine tasting available 1640 Langons Creek Road Langons Creek phone 0885 374 000 Bleasdale's since 1850 are you a developer requiring road construction do you need a car park built for your customers convenience how would you like a stylish new Asheville driveway? Triple A Asheville, 20 Scarborough Way, Lonsdale. Phone 0883 983022. Lake Breeze Wines. We are proud of our heritage. Lake Breeze has earned an enviable reputation for consistently producing outstanding wines. 319 Step Road, Langhorn Creek, 85373017. Lake Breeze, outstanding wine since 1987. Cowden Insurance. Cover for commercial and corporate businesses and liability comprehensive legal liability exposure and personal insurance. Office 102 Greenhill Road, Unley. Phone 0883 000 888. Cowden, insurance for all. Spacecraft Joinery, specialising in kitchens, cabinets and joinery. Needing more space in your kitchen or thinking about upgrading? Call the team at Spacecraft for King Street, Strathalbum. Phone Nathan on 0885 364 680. Platinum Ag Services. Looking to buy or sell livestock on the Flurio? Contact Ben Don't 0437 856 327. Any wool inquiries? Jeff Clark 0427 678 498. Platinum Ag. Putting Ag back in agriculture. Bremerton Wines. After experimenting with Cabernet and Shiraz, the first grapes were planted on our farm in 1991. Further plantings followed. Cabernet, Shiraz, Malbec, Merlot, Videlo, Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc. Bremont Wines, 14 Kent Town Road, Langon Creek. To order, phone 85 373 093. Bremont Wines. It's our life. The rest is history. Is your machinery maintenance up to date for a full mobile service and repairs? A Plus Auto Electrical, 1 Donald Street, Strathalbyn. Phone 0428 820 487. We, we come, come to you. you. Orman Turf are specialists in all types of instant turf, from small orders to large. We have great varieties to suit your front garden. We can also arrange delivery. 1178 Langons Creek Road, Langons Creek. Place an order 0885 373 243. Clemco Almonds new range of roasted almonds. You can try spicy, smoky and toffee coated roasted almonds or simply go for our scorched chocolate almonds. They are the best. Clemco, 633 Michi Road, Bletchley. To order phone 0418 804 105. Strathalbyn Auto Electrical provides a wide range of auto electrical and mechanical services and products. They are a recognised leader in the auto electrical service industry in the Flurio and Adelaide Hills, South Australia. Strath Auto Electrical. 45 Milnes Road, Strathalbyn, phone 85363244. Widdham's Transport is well placed to meet your transport needs, servicing Strathalbyn, Langons Creek and surrounds since 1964. Widdham's Transport, 53 Santa Grove Road, Strathalbyn, phone 85362477. Cutting Roxley and Associates. We take a hands-on approach to helping you achieve goals, whether you need a bit of help to get your personal tax in order or a small business owner looking to save money and time. We're here to help you. Cutting Roxley and Associates, 2A Alban Terrace, Strathalban. Phone 0412 936 992. Based in Strathalban, South Australia, Aaron Martin Construction Designs and builds custom homes throughout the Adelaide Hills. We build forever homes, thoroughly planned and designed to suit your family, your lifestyle, your land and most importantly, your budget. Contact info at aaronmartinconstruction.com.au or visit 8 Santa Street, Strathalban. Maidment Meat Service, servicing Strathalban and surrounds with quality meats since 1977. Third generation butchers at your service, made to order and meant to please. 15 Dawson Street, Strathalban. Phone 0885 362 618. Glen Semple Electrical. For fast and friendly service, contact Glen, who can assist with all your electrical needs. 
Glen Semple Electrical, 63 Dunreath Road, Strathalban. Phone 0417 893 053. Beyond the restored exterior of this historic 1865 Bluestone building, the Victoria Hotel in Strathalban is a country hotel with a difference offering all the luxuries you'd expect. Located conveniently in the heart of Strathalban, 16 Alban Terrace. Meals, accommodation and a coldie. Phone 85362202. Bella Torre Constructions, a family-run building business based out of Strathalban, servicing the Flurio, Adelaide, Murraylands and Southern Adelaide. Buildings, concrete and alterations. Phone Todd 0448 770 517. Della Torre, award-winning construction. There is only one way to get your team top of the ladder. Bridge Aluminium. Manufacturing under the brand All Weld. Making platform ladders, orchid tripod ladders, tradie ladders and mezzanine ladders. They also manufacture vehicle canopies, ute trays, toolboxes and perform truck fit-outs. Are you a tradie, farmer, who can never find the tool you need on the back of the ute? Never look again. Install Bridge Aluminium custom-built toolboxes. They are built to fit, lightweight, and make storage easy. Talk to the team today. Aluminium material sales, platforms, boxes, and ladders. Their range is the best. Get in and see Bridge Aluminium. They have you best dressed. Drop in to 225 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge. Email sales at bridgealuminium.com.au or phone Ian on 8532 Five double eight four Bridge Aluminium. When it comes to ladders, they're the top team. Do you need a bright spark to help sort out your electrical issues, whether it be residential, rural, or commercial? The team can provide the spark to get you back in front in the Murraylands, Mallee, and surrounding areas, specialising in new homes, rewires, vaults, servicing, maintenance, and light installation. Whether it be commercial, industrial, or domestic. Phone 0417 807 257 for a free measure and quote. Richard Elliott Electrical, the Bridges Bright Spark. Six and out, old mate. You mean window and out. Mum's going to kill us. Mum's going to kill you. No worries. I'll fix it fast. Who you going to call? Row Aluminium and Security. Specialising in windows any size. Security doors, roller shutters, bathroom screens, fly screens and general window repairs. Call Darren for a free measure and quote. Phone 0885 321 230 or visit their showroom at 44 Old Princess Highway East Side, Murray Bridge. Row Aluminium and Security, where your security is our business.
one. And it's a very warm welcome to those viewing our coverage here from Stallion Park, Strathalban. And the Creeks will be chasing 150 from 20 overs at a run rate of 7.5 runs per over. So they've certainly got the job ahead of them. And joining me in the commentary box this afternoon is Jason Regan. Very good afternoon, Jason. Good evening, Bruce. I think we can safely call it evening now. The shadows are getting long. Uh, we'll see how this innings plays out. 149, the, uh, the total reached by the Stallions. Seven and a half and over needed from Langhorn Creek to get the job done. Robert starred with the bat 53 out in the last over. We've got a spinner to start proceedings. First ball of the innings. They've gone up. <laughs> they not have out. gone up. They were very keen there, the Stallions. Big shout. Not out, says the umpire. So we'll come in again. That one's on leg stump. It's gone through, I think, down leg side and... What's happened there? Well, he was going for the sweep, and I think probably just outside the line, but mm. I think he thought that one was a lot closer than the first one, the bowler. The bowler was very interested. Well, you always are as a bowler. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> They're always out. He comes again. That one's off the bat and uh, just poked out to mid-wicket. No run. Well, I tell you what, it would have been a handy wicket too. Ben Warren in the first over. I reckon I would have gone and put a couple of dollars on the Stallions. Not that there's betting, but uh, nor am I a gambling man. But, gee, if they picked up uh, Benny Warren, it'd be a big wicket. Warren again now off his pads. Just flicks that back out to mid-wicket and they'll saunter through for a single. The first run of the inning for Langhorn Creek. Warren gets off strike. First run off the fourth delivery of the innings. I think we'll see him now come over the wicket to the right-hander. Russo it is, opening the batting with what have Benny we got Warren. Field-wise here, uh, Jason. Well, we've got a uh, a long on right in front of us here in the commentary position. That one's a full toss. Just punch down the ground to mid-off and they'll hurry through for a single. The field will change again now. They did have a uh, a deep forward square. And it looks as though we're going to have basically that sort of field again, a long on for the left-hander. I guess you'd say that's a deep mid-wicket, deep forward square, and that one's just punched out to mid-wicket, and they'll trundle through for another single. Three runs off the first over with not a lot of risk. Langhorn Creek are on their way, none for three after the first over. The Commercial Hotel Strathalban, 27 High Street, Strathalban. Great location, beautiful meals, friendly service. Pop in for a coldie at the commercial. Dine-in bookings, phone 0885 362 021. Proudly supporting local sport. Frost Motor Repairs. Specialising in mower repairs, engine repairs, check out our range of GTA 26 pruners. For all your gardening needs, 26 Main Road, Langons Creek. Phone Daryl, 85 373 071. Apple Seed Cafe. So, good start here by the Stallions, keeping it to three runs in that first over. And just trying to pick up the bowler, is it to Danny Horan? Let's do the old school out in the commentary box. A bowler's name. In he comes. Left arm, a full toss. That's poked down uh, just wide of point. They'll oh, get around for four. four. Lovely, lovely time shot. Hardly hit it. Well, in our pitch report earlier, uh, Jason, we spoke about how beautiful the oval was and it's, it's just like a carpet out there. It's quick and that didn't look like it was going to be four off the bat, but it raced away. Certainly like a bowling green out there. He's middled that. Mind you, it was a full toss on off stump. Got exactly what it deserved. Four runs. Benny Warren is away. None for seven. And Matt Abbott, the bowler from the southern end. That's and a bit of ball. Gee, a bit of a rash shot there from Benny. Tried to uh, lift it up, didn't he, onto the leg side behind square. And 
was the uh, reverse flamingo over square leg, I think is what Benny was attempting there. And attempting is about as far as he got. So Abbott to Warren, big part and stage in this game. Long shot. Hits that one over mid-wicket and it will race away for four runs. Great shot by Ben Warren and he's away. He's gone the back foot flamingo hoik over square leg for four. Middled every part of that. This is a good over already. Eight from three off the second over. They're chasing seven and a half and over. Uh, and a couple more shots like that. Puts them well and truly in front of the run rate. Warren started brightly. He moves to 10. In comes Abbott over the wicket left arm. Lovely shot off the toes again. It wasn't a bad ball. That's going to race away down the hill and go for four again. Lovely shot. It wasn't much wrong with the delivery, it's got to be said, Bruce. But, wow, beautifully timed. Well, he just uh, picked it up early and just, uh, yeah, elegantly helped it on its way and rolled the wrist and a uh, beautiful shot by uh, Warren and uh, as you can see that first over those couple of LB shouts they could play a big part in this game. Certainly could you're right about this outfield it is lightning quick here at Strath the Stallions home ground in comes Abbott again that's a bit of ball but again gets the treatment off that the could legs. Go all the way again. I think it's going to it looks like it's running away down the hill to the uh, uh, I guess you'd call that what's that the clubhouse out there Bruce it's four anyway. Well right around there in front of the RSL and I Thank reckon you. a couple of the old veterans there have just yelled out the Matt Abbott they put it on the other side. That won't get the job done. Anything on his toes, Benny Warren's already proved that was a genuine half volley on that occasion and got the treatment. 16 off the over. Langhorn Creek flying early. Ben Warren dominating. Abbott comes in again. What will he do this time? Over the wicket. That's on the pads as well, and he's found the gap again. This might be cut off. Two are chasing, and I'm not sure they're going to get there. They both try and stop it. I think that's gone for four as well. It has. Five boundaries off the over, 20 from it, if you don't mind. Just amazing cricket. The end of the over, the Creeks are none for 23. It's located in the picturesque township of Strathalbyn. It's the perfect place to enjoy a delicious breakfast or a tasty lunch in a relaxed, friendly environment. Apple Sea Cafe, 30 High Street, Strathalbyn, 0885368195. Bridge Hotel, right in the heart of the creek. Drop in for a coldie after the game. Meals available, 70 Bridge Road, Langons Creek. Phone 0885373010. No stress. And back live here at Stallion Park. It'll be spin continuing from this northern end. And Russo just helps it straight down to mid on and races through for the quick single to rotate the strike. And why wouldn't you when Ben Warren in that last over smashed 20 runs, five boundaries. By happy. my reckoning, Bruce, uh, Benny Warren is 22 from, I make it, 10 deliveries to start this innings. Yeah, magnificent strike rate. What's that, about 150? Mm. And it's Reiki bowling from this northern end. Around the wicket to Warren. He's dropped that short outside leg and... Warren's just trotted through for a single there. A bit of risk to it, but they it's get through. Bit. They get through regardless. Just looking to rotate the strike off the spinner at the moment. If we have a look at the field, it's basically as we had in the previous over. Pretty much a ring field inside the circle. On the offside, and then a long on, of course, and a allowed, deep square leg. Only allowed two outside of that inner circle, uh, Jace. That's right. Beautiful shot out into the covers. There'll be no run there. Well fielded. <clears throat> so looking at the field, you would think you'll be looking to pitch up on off and hope that it doesn't pierce the field. <laughs> and he comes again. That's 
a little bit shorter, but again, it works. They take off for a quick single and get it. Just on the heels a little bit at this moment, the Stallions uh, probably should have cut off a couple of these singles. Well, that's what um, Russo's job is out there. He's just got to uh, hold up the end, just play the ball around, pick up the singles, no risks, and let Benny Warren do the scoring. Warren dances down the wicket, smashes that over mid-off. One bounce, two bounces, four. Magnificent shot from Warren. All oh, right, down to the commentary box. And that was uh, some of the best you'll see from Benny Warren. And rounds out another over. It's none for 30. No stress, pest control, residential and commercial to general households and businesses of all kinds. Servicing the Fleurio and the Murraylands. Phone Nigel 0412. 325085. Discover the story of Gypsy Jack and catch her in the freshness and vitality of today's lifestyle, sealed in a bottle. Gypsy Jack, The Wine House, 1509 Langons Creek Road, Langons Creek. Phone 0885 373 441. Gypsy Jack. Well, We're back here at uh, Stallion Park, Strathalbyn. Beautiful setting for uh, a lovely game of cricket. And Langhorn Creek have started brightly, none for 30 off three. Well, in, truly in front of the run rate. It comes now. That's short outside off stump. Just guided through wide of gully. Uh, they will get back through for two here. Deep third man. Good throw into the keeper. Good cricket all round, two runs. Yeah, well fielded there by Matty Abbott. Running around quickly. And the big man getting the job done for his captain. So the new bowler is uh, Gator. And uh, they couldn't go back to Abbott after he, his first over went for five boundaries. Ben Warren got hold of him. Comes Gator now over the wicket, right arm over. Well right bowled through straight him. through him. There was a bit of zip to that delivery. It must have cut back off the wicket because it went straight between bat and pad through to the keeper. Keeper's come back a few yards too, so he's clearly a like, lively, likely type, this gator. And he comes again off the long run. Steams in up to the wicket. That's pitched up wide outside off stump. The umpire extends the arms because uh, that is wide. He'll have to re-bowl that one. When you're coming off the long run, the last thing you want to do is have to do that too often, Bruce. We'll see how he goes in this occasion. Clearly just trying to pitch it up wide of off stump and not get taken through the leg side. Ringfield on the off. That's down leg side, and it's just worked off his hip down for a single. Warren wants the strike. He's not interested in two, and why not? He just sort of dropped down on it, didn't he, and turned it around the corner, rolled the wrist beautifully. Russo wanted to come back for the second, and Ben Warren absolutely wanted no part of that. He wants the strike, and when you're on 27, why wouldn't you? So this will be interesting to see where he can put this one, because they haven't protected that area where Warren just belted those five fours. Oh. Warren dances down the pitch, but he's hit it straight to mid-wicket. Wow we. That's a much-needed wicket. The dangerous Warren, who had dominated 27, just chipped it up, danced down the wicket, cramped himself, really, chipped it straight to mid-wicket, and that is out, one for 33. At Howling Gale Wines, we make our wines from single vineyard fruit with the Howling Gale Winds off the lake that provides a wonderful grape-growing climate to produce succulent jewels on the vines. Dog Lake Road, Langon Creek, phone 0885, 373 HGH Developments. Rock crushing, civil earthworks and retainer walls. Specialists in quality construction and infrastructure. No job too small, no project too big. 248 Brook Road, Woodchester. Phone 0458 613 705. Radnor Marino and Paul Marino Stud was founded in 1982. Didn't really go right through with the shot because he just didn't have the room and and uh, consequently just chipped it up rather than following through and 
cost him his wicket and it's really put the pressure on the creeks. And mm. coming into bat now is Adam Clements. Probably should have gone back for two looking back on it now, Bruce. Uh, maybe Russo had a case, but not sure if they crossed. I don't think they did. In he comes. First ball wide outside off stump. The umpire extends the arms again. And the Gator will have to re-bowl it. Another wide. One for 35. Wicket keeper there not looking too happy with that call either. But no, no you thought it was a little tough, but... Uh, no, you're arguing with Daryl Harper. Look wide to me. He comes again, Gator. It's a lively pace. That's outside off stump. Poked that through to the keeper. No wood, no run. So Adam Clements now for the creek on strike. Hasn't been able to put bat to ball at any stage yet. Only faced the two deliveries. One of them was a wide. That one beaten outside off stump. In comes Gator again along over this one. That's poked down uh, to fine leg for a single. Clements is away. Good shot. Lovely little shot. Tuck off the hip. Is that the end of the over, or have we got one more? I think it might be the end of the over. A long one it was. And at the end of that over, we are one for 35. But the name originates from 1930 and Frederick Kohler. Steve and Brett continue the Radnor tradition at 1917 Langons Creek Road. Need a Merino or Paul Merino stud ram? Contact Steve 0407 099 465. Radnor, a name you can trust. Got any gaps in your field? Give Greg a call. He's a Harry of all trades, specialising in plastering and painting. Harry can restore your home fast. Phone 0407 977 231. Please Style Vineyards and Wines to capture the. We're back from Stallion Park here in Strathalban. Good start from Langhorn Creek. They have lost the Danger Man in Ben Warren. First ball of the fifth over. Down leg side. No run. Fine leg is inside the circle. And Clements couldn't get it past him. And a great little graphic up on screen. The uh, Creeks need 114 off 96 balls. Good start. They've been going at around about nine and over through the first four overs. Down on one leg. He's hooked that up. Can he get across and take the catch? No, it bounces in front. They'll come back for two. Probably got that a little bit straighter, I think, than he wanted, although he did dissect two fieldsmen. So uh, you'd say risk, reward, good shot, two runs, I guess, Bruce. Yeah, very good shot. Reiki comes in again from this northern end, and this time Clements can't get enough to pierce the field and are dotting the book. Clements has gone to three after that last shot. That's up. Oh, that's good. Been given some tap, but is it going to drop in? Oh, a diving effort. It did fall in. They come back for two. That's hit the stumps direct, but it's not out. In fact, it might have been the keeper's hat that fell on the stumps. Well, that was an eventful passage of play. Clements has decided to throw the bat at it. They're not happy with how this is going against the spinner at the moment, I don't think, the creek. That one's just chipped down to... Oh, well, oh, well fielded. fielded. Certainly save one. That's definitely saved a run there. If that had gotten past, it would have just trotted through for the single. This will be the final ball of the fifth over. An eventful one, without any wickets, without any boundaries. That one's got a bit more on it, and it's just whacked through Ford of Square there to the man on the boundary for a single. Wild throw back in. But regardless, it is the end of the over. And the Langhorn Creek at the end of five, a one for 39 what makes Langons Creek wines so attractive. Vibrancy, harmony, 
Texture. Salad door open, wine tasting available. 1640 Langons Creek Road, Langons Creek. Phone 0885 374 000. Bleasdales, since 1850. Are you a developer requiring road construction? Do you need a car park built for your customer's convenience? How would you like a stylish new Asheville driveway? Triple A Asheville, 20 Scarborough Way, Lonsdale. Phone 0883 98 3022. Lake Breeze Wines. We are proud of our heritage. Lake Breeze has earned an enviable light and back live and cut around the corner beautifully. That's four. That's four. What a shot. Gee, it didn't look like it off the bat, did it? But it raced across that carpet and boundary up. First four for Russo. He's taken over the run scoring duties now after Warren's headed back to the pavilion. Mind you, Clements has thrown the bat a bit as well. So the creek going at over eight and over. This will be the last over of the fielding restrictions. And if we have a look at the field, we've got a deep third man, deep backwards square. So anything pitched up is going. In he comes. That's short of a length. Poke down to that third man that we just spoke about. They will come back for two. Rishi. That's a dangerous run, but they've... Well, that's beautifully run. <laughs> Gee whiz. It was well run by Clements. Adam Clements there really sticking in the big ones. And they pick up two off the bowling of Gator. And he's he's come out. He's pretty life wire, isn't he, Clements? He's not uh, trying to work his way into it. He's having a go right from the start. He's picking up where Warren left off. That's pitched up on the stumps and didn't go. They just poked that down the ground there, Clements, and no run. As you said, just those two players outside the circle are both behind the wicket. So, uh, If you're batting right now, Bruce, you're looking for something uh, half volley length to smash back down the ground, I would have thought. Yep, cow corner, straight, or uh, through the covers. In, In comes Gator. Again, it's a wide outside off stump, chopped down to the keeper, who will field that, no run. Well cut off there by Lukey Cousins, of course the uh, curator here at Strathalbyn Stallion Park. So uh, he's been on the roller all day uh, getting the pitch repaired. Speaking of Cousins, Bruce, have we seen Ben out there? Uh, he was fiddling around with his hamstring while he was out there batting late in the innings. I'll have a look at that and get back to you. Seems to be OK, doesn't he? Mm. Might have just been some loose strapping on a thigh pad, perhaps. Full toss down Ooh, side, leg side. That'll be a wide. wide. Rebowl that one. Yeah, of course, two of them out there. Ben, number two, and Luke, number uh, 19, 15, 15. Mm. Those thigh pads can play up. Strapping gets in the wrong spot. You've got to readjust. It looks like you've done your hamstring. I've been fooled before. Well, I think mm. Clements might have a go here. And he's... Hoiked it round behind, down to fine leg. And Cousins down there doing the fielding. Keeps it to a single. Takes uh, Russo. Russo's on six and Clements on to 12. 13. 13 now. Russo, uh, I called him before as the man that hit the boundary. It wasn't, of course. It was Clements. He comes on strike now. That's outside off stump. Beautifully poked out there. No run. Cover picks it up. That's the end of the over. And at the end of the over, one for 49 after six. Reputation for consistently producing outstanding wines. 319 Step Road, Langhorn Creek, 85373017. Lake Breeze, outstanding wine since 1987. Cowden Insurance, cover for commercial and corporate businesses and liability comprehensive legal liability exposure and personal insurance. Office 102 Greenhill Road, Unley. Phone 0883 000 888. Cowden, insurance for all. Spacecraft Joinery, specialising in kitchens, cabinets and joinery. And back live here at Stallion Park, the new bowler will be Ben Cousins. Well, I guess that answers our question. He looks fine. Might have just been a, a thigh pad strap, as you said. And uh, Benny will be bowling his spinners. And, of course, there was a little bit of bye play um, earlier in the week on Facebook. And uh, that won't be happening now. Benny... Uh, 
His namesake, Ben Warren, was going to uh, put Ben Cousins over the fence, but uh, that won't be happening now as Cousins back, uh, Ben Warren back in the shed. Cousins here, what will he be trying to do, Jason? Just try and keep it to uh, four or five and over? Yeah, I think so. I think you'll bowl with a bit of pace on uh, for an off. He obviously a little bit quicker into the into the wicket. Of course, well, that one's he's he's hit a he's bowled a full toss first ball, which has just been poked down the ground for a single. So, if we have a look at the field, it gives something away as to what he's hoping to achieve here. If he pitches up, it'll be outside off. And of course, those restrictions lifted now, so mm. they can have four out. Got a deep point, a deep mid off. As Cousins comes in again, that one's tossed up. Smash through out to cover there inside the circle, no run. So we've got a, uh, I guess, a deep gully backward point inside the circle and a cover inside the circle. That's your offside field. It's again, working quickly. That's a wide. On the onside, we've got, uh, I guess, a, 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 f a short fine leg inside the circle. We've got a mid wicket and a very wide mid on. Driven beautifully shot. through the covers. Sweeper out there. Looks like Abbott and throws it in quickly and they pick up one to Russo. Russo, of course, uh, no slouch with this sort of position last week. Uh, really did hold the batting together for the Creeks. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Chipped in the air. That could be out. Oh, and well taken. taken well taken. Good catch taken there by Matt Abbott. And... Clements is on his way, caught Matt Abbott, bold Ben Cousins, and he is out for 14. It's two for 52. Needing more space in your kitchen or thinking about upgrading? Call the team at Spacecraft for King Street Straff Album. Phone Nathan on 0885 364 680. Platinum Ag Services. Looking to buy or sell livestock on the Flurio? Contact Ben Don't 0437 856 327. Any wool inquiries? Jeff Clark 0427 678 498. Platinum Ag. Putting Ag back in agriculture. Bremerton Wines. Back live from Stallion Park here in Strathalban. Stallions have taken their second wicket of the innings. Two for 52. Clements out. Which looked, now, pardon me saying this, but it, it looked a bit of a soft dismissal, didn't it? Uh, I think he just, uh, he tossed that one up, deceived him in the flight. Um, just sort of flicked it in the air and said, catch me. He sort of stopped his shot. The ball hadn't arrived when he thought it would. And uh, wide mid on, took a beautiful catch running back. Not sure what he was hoping to achieve because there was a deep mid on anyway, so... Um, pretty average shot, shot selection, Bruce, I would have thought, from Clements. <laughs> you be careful on that. It's a Thursday afternoon. Yes, shot selection, an issue. But uh, in comes Cousins again. Hamstring looks fine. He's tossed that one up as well. Bowling. And Good shot. Driven nicely, wasn't it, to uh, deep cover. And just getting the ball back in there on the bounce, of course, uh, Tonkin fielding that out. Uh, Tonkin, the new batsman. Of course, uh, thrown in like that, they're keeping him low, making him bounce on that turf out there into the wicket. Always uh, helps with the sun or uh, just to get the ball bounce in there quicker off the ground. It's with the ball too, but we'll talk about that a little bit later on. Cousins uh, pitches that one up. Bit of turn too, actually. That was a very good delivery to finish the over. Good, successful over from Cousins. He's one for four and the score is two for 53. Through experimenting with Cabernet Shiraz, the first grapes were planted on our farm in 1991. Further plantings followed. Cabernet Shiraz, Malbec, Merlot, Vidello, Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, Bremerton Wines, 14 Kentown Road, Langon Creek. To order phone 85 373 093. Bremerton Wines. It's our life. The rest is history. Is your machinery maintenance up to date for a full mobile service and repairs? A plus auto electrical. 1 Donald Street, Strathalbyn. Phone 0428 820 487. We, we come, come to you. you. Ormond Turf, a specialist in all types of instant. MFL TV live from uh, Strathalbyn Oval, of course, uh, Murray Towns Cricket. Bruce, he's doing a bit of that over the weekend. Yes, we got uh, another big game this weekend at uh, Tail and Bend. It's Tail and Bend 
versus Wanderers. So that should be an absolute belter out there at uh, Yench Park over at Tail and Bend. This competition's quite solid as well, Bruce. Yes, I think I've uh, fluctuated between the two comps and I think the Alexander and Eastern Hill is just a little bit stronger competition, a little bit more depth um, than the Murray Towns. And I say that in respect of, you know, uh, the Alexander and Eastern Hills, probably most sides, four or five really good players, whereas the Murray Towns, probably just uh, three really good players mm. per team. Now, the equation, 97 runs off 78 balls. First ball of the over is just poked down. That'll go for four. What a lovely late cut. Magnificent shot. Beat Gully, and once it beat Gully, no one was stopping it. Yes, if you get it through that infield, you've got value for your shots, haven't you? Absolutely. And once uh, they pull up stumps here today, I think the lawn bowlers will come out, roll the kitty, and play a few ends. Why not? This outfield is lightning fast. I think you'd probably have a few ditched down this bottom end because once it gets through, it just rolls away like a tracer bullet. Certainly got the Lord's Hill, doesn't it? Uh, the roll towards the clubhouse. So a good start to the over. They're well ahead of the run rate at the moment. In he comes again. That's down leg side and will be a wide. Rebowl that one. Yeah, Harris will be uh, really livid with himself there. Just got to get it... Uh, up there on a good short of a length and uh, straying down leg side, letting that uh, shoulder just uh, fall over. Harris obviously didn't want to do what he did in the first ball, overcorrected, in he comes again. That one's on the stumps and uh, will be poked back down the wicket, no run. So 7.1 is the current rate. They need 7.5. So, well, it's game on, isn't it? It's anyone's game. It's uh, really uh, even Stevens at the moment. They're on target at least, uh, the creek, but they have lost two wickets. Two men back in the sheds and the danger man in Ben Warren. Probably just a handful of runs ahead. Mm. We'll have that equation in the next over. Oh, drop down on that one. A bit of a half shout. Wicket keeper does the fielding. No run. And Russo just swinging the arms around. He knows what he should have done with it. But it didn't happen. Good comeback by Harris. Well, it goes without saying, once Warren was out, the run rate has slowed. But uh, Russo's been out there for a while now. He needs to get a move on. Poking and prodding a little bit too much for my like. Lovely little late cut before. But we haven't seen many shots from him. In he comes now, Harris. That's wide outside off stump. Bowl that one again, my friend. That's not going to get it done. Another long over. <laughs> Lukey Cousins, the wicket keeper. He's not a happy chappy. He's just grabbed that... To White ball, and he's just thrown it on the grass, rolled it along the ground like a bowl, and uh, telling the bowler where he's got to put it. Certainly not there. Wrong bias, I think he's called. Harris hasn't improved with that one either. That's another wide. This will be a long over. So far, we're up to a nine ball over. Well, you certainly wouldn't want to argue with the umpire being a, um, a former international cricket umpire in Daryl Harper. He'd be right on the money. At some point, he's going to have to bowl at the stumps. Harris, that's outside off stump again. Poked to gully. They'll go through for a run. And I'm going to stop calling that a gully because he's just inside the circle. It's more of a, I guess, a short third man. Yeah, deep gully or almost the old-fashioned fly slip. Mm, backward, backward point almost. Very fine backward point, but he's... It's really a textbook now, fine leg, given the left hand has come on strike. In yep. fact, he will go back, yes. I was waiting for him to do that. It took him a while to catch on. Well, I'd be livid as the captain, and uh, the ball got through there and went for four because he was up. The, the, the field's quick. Got to be back on the boundary and walk him with the bowler. The age old walk him with the bowler saying, that's oh going to be another one. Rebowl that one. Well, are the Stallions letting the... Tigers back in here. Well, we're up to a 10 ball over. There was a boundary and four wides so far off the over. Uh, we're up to 62. I think we've had a single in there as well. So they've got nine runs off, off the over so far with absolutely no risk. Just struggling to get a bowler to uh, get the ball, the ball down the wicket up that top end or the southern end. He comes around the wicket this time. Let's see if that helps. It won't. We're up to 11 ball over. 
Oh, there's a big G hard from the RSL. We've got a big crowd in the house. And there's a lot of noise coming from over there. They're all giving their 10 cents worth of where they reckon the bowler should be bowling the ball. And I reckon there might be a fair chance with that uh, noise from the RSL uh, that he won't be bowling the next over. Has he there put another one again. down there? And he's called it. And the crowd love it. So we're up to a 12 ball over now. So we'll bowl two overs in one. Not going to help your over rate, Bruce. Certainly not. Not that we have that here, but a uh, good crowd in the house and uh, the RSL balcony packed out. Standing room only. Harris comes in again. There we go. Oh, that one's online. Oh, up they go. He's gone for the big appeal almost to uh, stop them running, and it worked. And, gee, Russo almost found himself in trouble down at the uh, non-striker's end. Harris, I think, was just happy he didn't have to re-bowl it, to be honest. But he liked it, and he comes again. I'm not sure what ball of the over this is now, but that's all worked off the hip. No run there. Is that the final ball of the over? No, yep. we've got more to come. That's it. That is it. Finally, the end of the eighth over, two for 64. Strathalbyn Auto Electrical provides a wide range of auto electrical and mechanical services and products. They are a recognised leader in the auto electrical service industry in the Flurio and Adelaide Hills, South Australia. Strath Auto Electrical, 45 Milnes Road, Strathalbyn, phone 85 363 244. Widdham's Transport is well placed to meet your transport needs, servicing Strathalbyn, Langons Creek and surrounds since 1964. Widdham's Transport, 53 Santa Grove Road, Strathalbyn. Phone 85 362 477. Cutting Roxley and Associates. We take a hand. Well, that was an eventful end of the over, Bruce. Uh, the boys up in the balcony there enjoyed every bit of, uh, of that, I think. Well, we look at those last few overs. Six, eight, four, and that last over, 11 runs. So, yeah, just every over being a 20, 20 game, 20 over match, that uh, every over the pendulum just seems to swing either way, doesn't it? It and does. And uh, at the moment, you just feel the creeks are on top. I've got to say, in that over, 11 off it, and in comes Cousin for the first ball of this over. That's pitched up outside off stump. Jeez, he's bowling well, very accurately. Good shot for a single. Just saying that last over, 11 off of it, only two scoring shots in the over. One of them off the first ball of the over was four runs. Only one single from the legal deliveries out of anything that was left. The other six runs coming from wides. Just amazing, a bit like the game we had last week at uh, Homburg in Murray Towns, but uh, it, uh, it's down to 86 off 72, has driven down the ground nicely by Tonkin and will be fielded there by... Uh, is that Danny oh. Horan? He's thrown and an infield uh, fly back to the keeper too. They're, no mu they're not much fun. Don't think that's Danny Horan. It's uh, definitely Danny Horan's number that we've been given, but it's maybe it is. Cousins will come in for the third ball of the over. Two singles from it so far. Pitched up again. Lots of flight. Lovely shot. Later late cut. They might come back for two here, will they? Yes. He's going to take him on, and we'll get back comfortably. Good shot. Clever cricket. Good bowling. I'll tell you what. Cousins is getting some turn, Bruce. Yes, he's a... Uh good little bowler. He's uh, been around for a while and also a pretty handy footballer. I think he's uh, finished playing now for the Strath Roosters but very handy cricketer and a pretty handy batsman too as he's uh, died for that one but uh, Russo getting it past the uh, outstretched hands of, uh, of Cousins down to mid off and picks up a single. So just seems to be content at the moment, Russo, to just push it around and pick up the ones. No, not really playing the big shot. Three out on the leg here for the left-hander. That one's poked out on the offside behind square. They will get one, and that will be it. little thumble there in the end, wasn't there? And uh, easy through for that single. So quite a fairly uh, full offside field. We've got a, uh, a square, a mid-wicket. We've got a deep square, a deep mid-wicket. And a deep long on as cut there by Russo through point. Sweeper comes around from cover and good throw in restricts it to one 
to round out another over here at Stallion Park. It's two for 70. He's on approach to helping you achieve goals. Whether you need a bit of help to get your personal tax in order or a small business owner looking to save money and time, we're here to help you. Cutting Roxley and Associates, 2A Alban Terrace, Strathalban. Phone 0412 936 992. Based in Strathalban, South Australia, Aaron Martin Construction Designs and builds custom homes throughout the Adelaide Hills. We build for Back live here at Stallion Park, the home of the Strathalban Cricket Club. I hope you're enjoying our coverage on Murraylands Football and Netball Sporting Results. You might be watching us through our Facebook page or our Vimeo account, or you might even be looking at us through the Flurio app down there at Victor Harbour. Thanks very much to Susie Williams. And at the same comparison, uh, Jason, two for 50 were the Stallions. The Creeks, two for 71. So... Goes to show you how important Robert's innings was. They scored 99 runs off the last 10 overs, the Stallions. First ball of the 10th over here. That one's hit the pad or the inside edge onto the pad. They'll go through for a single. And no, just checking the sun there, Daryl yeah. Harper. I thought he was putting the arm up uh, for a bye or a leg bye, but uh, not to be, so off the bat. So uh, there's the equation, 79 off 66, so 78 off 65 now. So, so they're ahead of the required, well, they're ahead of uh, where they were in the comparison, but, yeah, they got a real move on, the Stallions, in their last 10 overs. So the Creek going to have to continue motoring on with the bat. Comes so again. That one's uh, oh, pitched on leg stump, hit into the pads. No run scored. Here's Matt Abbott back into the attack, the one that... Uh, Ben Warren took a bit of a liking to. Yes, did he? Uh, five boundaries off that first over of Abbott's. If you're watching our live stream, Benny, come round and have a few words on the microphone. We'd love to have you. And uh, it'd be great, wouldn't it, to get an insight from Benny Warren. Lefty to lefty here. In comes Abbott to Tonkin. And that one's outside Ooh. off stump. Nice bit of bounce. Um... He rolled his fingers over that. Bit of a leg cutter. It's gone through to the keeper for no run. So, an uneventful over so far. The Creek just need to be careful. This is obviously the point where the Stallions really started to motor. They need a wicket, don't they, the, uh, the Stallions? They do. Abbott could be the man. In he comes. Left arm over. That one's on the stumps. Edged, thickish edge. Ooh, oh, gee, if he through. picked that up cleanly, there could have been trouble. A little yep. thumble there from, uh, uh, was it Horan? Back would have point. He just, if he gloved it cleanly, he would have had a shot at the stumps. Direct hit may have seen Clements on his way, but as it turns out, it's a comfortable single. Clements now, the right-hander back on. In fact, sorry, I keep saying Clements. It's not, it's Russo. Get it right. Clements has already gone. Russo on strike. That's pitched up. Hit back at the bowler. Well fielded off his own bowling there, Abbott. No run. Very important part of the game, isn't it, uh, when you're bowling uh, to be a fielder in these T20 comps? can be so vital to uh, stop a run or knock it down or, or even perform a run out. So... Good work there by Abbott as the sun goes down. Beautiful setting here at Strathalban with the coloured clothing and very privileged to be doing this. And a big thanks to our sponsors around the Langons Creek and Strathalban area. Some great wineries on board supporting our coverage. Good shot. No run. Well, bold. Abbott could come back over after getting some tap in the first. He's gone for just a couple there and we are two for 73. Sample Electrical. For fast and friendly service, contact Glenn, who can assist with all your electrical needs. Glenn Sample Electrical, 63 Dunreath Road, Strathalban. Phone 0417 893 053. Beyond the restored exterior of this historic 1865 Bluestone building, the Victoria Hotel in Strathalban is a country hotel with a difference offering all the luxuries you'd expect. Located conveniently in the heart of Strathalban, 16 Alban Terrace. Meals, accommodation and a coldie. Phone 85362202. Bella Torre Constructions, a family-run building business based out of Strathalban. Servicing the Flurio. 
the first ball just drop back down to the bowler. Cousins again, real donkey drop that one, a sucker ball. And equally well played by Tonkin. Chips it out to a deep mid wicket and they get a single. So 77 off 60, Jace. He's got no fear tossing it up, Cousins. I like that, Nalegi. Um, get an opportunity to beat your opponent in flight as well as spin. So deep mid on, deep mid wicket, deep square. Good but he shot. Plays the inside out shot through the covers. Oh, well ran around and fielded there by Mark Abbott. Cricket. And they pick up a single good shot there by Russo. Takes him to 19. Comes Cousins again to the left hand and now full toss. Smacked out. Oh, he's missed out there. He's hit that straight uh, along the ground to deep mid wicket. Only the single there for Tonkin. Geez, that needed to go. Ten rows back, Bruce. You don't get handed gifts like that every day. Comes Cousins again. That one's a bit shorter. He's overcorrected. Just poked down to backward point there for a single. And looking at that 10 over equation, uh, 2 for 73, the Creeks, 2 for 54, Strath. So the Creeks uh, well ahead on the runs. Comes Cousins again. That one's tossed up, bit fuller. It just pokes that down and the bowler rushed over. Nothing doing. They get through for a single. I think we've got one to come. So they've just comfortably worked six off this over so far. Good over for the Creeks and for the Stallions. Comes pitched up. He's driven that into the, uh, the gap. They'll come back for two. Oh, nearly <laughs> fell over there down at uh, deep mid off. Two it is. So eight from that cousin's over. And at the end of 11, we are 2 for 79. The Commercial Hotel Strathalban, 27 High Street, Strathalban. Great location, beautiful meals, friendly service. Pop in for a coldie at the Commercial. Dine-in bookings, phone 0885 362 021. Proudly supporting local sport. Frost Motor Repairs, specialising in mower repairs, engine repairs, Check out our range of GTA 26 pruners for all your gardening needs. 26 Main Road, Langons Creek. Phone Daryl, 85 373 071. Appleseed Cafe is located. And back live You're with Bruce Phillips and Jason Regan in this round three T20 clash. And it'll be Abbott to continue from the southern end. He's bowling to Tonkin Short. That's out. Out, out, out. Well, terrible shot. The three card trick, wasn't it? Terrible, and terrible shot. Great ball. Um, on his way. A bit of strife now, the creek. Uh, that's the third wicket to fall. Three for 81. And they need 69 off 53. We'll go to a short commercial. in the picturesque township of Strathalban. It's the perfect place to enjoy a delicious breakfast or a tasty lunch in a relaxed, friendly environment. Appleseed Cafe, 30 High Street, Strathalban, 0885368195. Bridge Hotel, right in the heart of the creek. Drop in for a coldie after the game. Meals available, 70 Bridge Road, Langons Creek. Phone 0885373010. No stress, pest control. Residential and commercial to general. And back live here at the home of Strathalman, Stallion Park. And it's great that we can bring this to you on Murray Land's football and netball sporting results. Get on the page, give us a like, give us a follow, and maybe make a comment on the page who you think is going to win from here. As the last wicket was, Matt Tonkin out for six from 12 balls, the new batsman. As Abbott comes into bowl from the southern end, and that has almost gone over the top. A big swing there by Frost, and no big connection. Got a bit of an inside edge. 
So looking at the comparison after 11 overs, Strath were 2 for 58 and Langons Creek 2 for 81. So, um, sorry, 3 for 81 that would be. And smacked a thick edge through the slips down to third man. They go for a cheeky two and they get home. Right doing the fielding down there at third man. And Frosty picks himself up a couple. Abbott to Frost, hoiks it out towards Cow Corner. Oh, he's got plenty on it. That's run all the way. Four runs, great shot by Frost. Oh, that was a brilliant shot. Once he got it through that infield, it just ran on the carpet. And he picks up four runs and breaks a little of the shackles for the Creeks. And Matt Abbott will be livid with himself. He'll have to get it up outside that off stump. As the deep mid-wicket goes back around to his position, Abbott to Frost again. He goes, drives it through mid-wicket, out to the boundary, and that's going to go for four again. Oh, great value for your shots here at Stallion Park. As Frost comes out and goes, bang! He's hit two brilliant fours and taken the pressure off the Creeks. And little Russo down the other end. He's just happy to hang on to his bat and watch this Frost show as he really has opened the curtains and put on his own show. Goes again, but this time can't get anything on it. The end of the over... A good one for the Creeks. They're three for 91. No stress, pest control, residential and commercial to general households and businesses of all kinds. Servicing the Fleurio and the Murray Lands. Phone Nigel 0412 325 Discover the story of Gypsy Jack and catch her in the freshness and vitality of today's lifestyle sealed in a bottle. Gypsy Jack, The Wine House, 1509 Langons Creek Road, Langons Creek. Phone 0885 373 441. Gypsy Jack. And back live. And gee, that was a good over for the Creeks. Plenty of action in that one, uh, Jason. They definitely needed that. There's a few big overs coming up short. I tell you what, the guys up there, I'm not sure if someone's just won the chook raffle at the RSL. Or they've singled someone out for some attention. But the boys are having some fun. In comes Cousins to bowl out. Pitched up. Smacked down the ground. No run. All sent him back, and rightly so. Mm, he hit that. 59 well. off 48. So still just a bit more than six and over. Tossed up. Smacked oh, over mid-wicket. There's no go. one out there. That will go. That's four. Beautiful shot. Straight over the head of the infield. And I think I said before, Jason, that they need someone on that deep mid-wicket cow corner boundary. And it'd be very interesting now to see whether they uh, bring one in from that offside, put him on that leg side, because that really is unprotected there in that cow corner. It's bread and butter. Here comes Cousins again. That one's a little bit quicker through the air, drops it a bit shorter. Poked out to the point boundary to the sweeper for a single. So Frost has come in with a couple of lofty blows, lifted the run rate. So after 12, Strath were 2 for 67, the Creek 3 for 91. Lost that extra wicket, but a good, uh, well, 20, uh, 24 runs ahead. Very handy runs. The deep mid wicket has gone out now. In comes Cousins, and that one's poked through the offside field. That could go. Into the gap, good shot, four runs. Magnificent shot. Just beat the cover fieldsman inside the circle. 
And the deep mid-off couldn't get there to cut it off. Magnificent shot. Oh, Frost has just come out and gone bang, bang, bang. Three fours, and he's turned the game in a few balls. Frost has the hot bat at the moment. In comes Cousins again, tosses that one up. That one's just pushed down to that uh, deep mid-off fieldsman. They'll only get the one. And that's all they need, Jason. That brings up the 100. Three for 100, the Creeks. They're ahead and of the equation right now. And yeah, right on top, aren't they? Doing it comfortably. The Stallions need another wicket or two just to put the creek under a bit more pressure here. Russo's doing his bit. That's short, and uh, Russo's protecting his wicket. He's smashed that down. I'm not sure what you'd call that shot. Almost, they come back for two. Down to the keeper's end, that goes the throw, and they get through. Good running, terrible fielding from the Stallions, it's got to be said there. That's the end of the over. And at the end of 13, we are three for 102. We know you'll be back. At Howling Gale Wines, we make our wines from single vineyard fruit with the Howling Gale Winds off the lake that provides a wonderful grape growing climate to produce succulent jewels on the vines. Dog Lake Road, Langon Creek. Phone 0885 373 144. HGH Developments. Rock crushing, civil earthworks and retainer walls. Specialists in quality construction and infrastructure. No job too small, no project too big. 248 Brook Road, Woodchester. Phone 0458 613 705. Radnor Marino. And back live here at Stallion Park. And, uh, well, we've got a quick second. Um, you wouldn't believe it, Jason, but uh, the flow man uh, and me, we used to play basketball in the old pavilion hall there up the southern end. I'd believe that. In comes wall. That's uh, an interesting... Delivery there. And and back to the bowl and no good run. Fielding off his own bowling. Good bowling. Good fielding off his own bowling. Not a great shot from Frost, but we'll forgive him because he's started well for the creek. So 47 off 36 required. On top at the moment, you'd say the creek. Wickets needed for the Stallions. In he comes now. That's pitched up. On off stump or just outside, missed the stumps, through to the keeper. Good start to the over here. Just need to build some pressure if they can. A few dot balls will do exactly that. Warren, the new bowler from this southern end or the old pavilion end. And they really do need a breakthrough now, the Stallions. That's full. And wide. I tell you what, very close to a no ball. Full bunger outside off stump, never in any danger of doing any damage to the batsman, but you don't see them coming. No, they line up the eyes a little bit. In the comparison at 13 overs, the Creeks 3 for 103, and the Stallions were 3 for 77. So still 26 runs ahead, uh, the Creeks. Good Beautiful shot from shot. Frost. They'll get two here. Back they come. Comfortable two. Frost is, when he is making contact, he's finding the gaps at will. Yeah, he's really come out and uh, answered all the questions that the, uh, the Stallions can throw at him, hadn't he? So far, at least. Uh, but there's a couple of big overs coming up in the comparison for, uh, for uh, the Stallions, of course. So we'll see how... Things go in a couple of overs time, but that one's pitched up outside off stump down the ground. They rush through for a single little fumble there. Eliminates any chance of a run out. So they get through comfortably for a single there. There's another ball to come in the over. Good running. Frost off strike. Russo, who has batted through the innings so far and just casually made his way to 30 with no risk. His job clearly is to bat through the innings. Yep. And he's doing exactly that at the moment. He faces up. That one's outside off stump. Beautiful little cover drive out to the cover boundary. They'll look for two. Back they come and they'll get it comfortably. Good shot. Good cricket. And that will be one more to come, perhaps. Yes, one more to come in the over from the wide. Yeah, they're just running that first one hard, aren't they? And they're setting up the two runs and they're making it look pretty easy, the Tigers. 
It's the big end, a big side of the ground on the offside. They're protecting the short side, but it's costing them two at the moment, and it'll cost them two again here. They'll come back comfortably, you'd think. No? No. Send him back. I think there was two in that. And but. good fielding there by the Stallions to round out the 14th over. It's three for 110. Marino Stud was founded in 1982, but the name originates from 1930 and Frederick Kohler. Stephen Brett continued the Radnor tradition at 1917 Langons Creek Road. Need a Marino or Paul Marino Stud Ram? Contact Steve 0407 099 465. Radnor, a name you can trust. Got any gaps in your field? Give Greg a call. He's a Harry of all trades, specialising in plastering and painting. Harry can restore your home fast. Phone 0407 977231. Bleasdale Vineyards and Wines to capture the essence. Back live from Stallion Park. Can we call it that? We are. It's Strath Alban. Beautiful setting as the sun starts to set on Strath Oval. Bowling green like surface. That equation, Jace, 40 off 30 balls. So great graphics on our screen, and we are very lucky to have some great people on our team and some great sponsors on board and if you ever need a good wine we are in the right area for it as a big swing there goes to mid wicket and well fielded no run for Russo and of course um, the Victoria Hotel and the commercial hotel in Strathalban right behind the live stream as well Switch to around the wicket here after that first delivery. This is an interesting ploy. He's going to try and drift it across and then spin it back. And it'll get a single. Don't mind the, don't mind the plan there. They're doing everything they can to protect that short side boundary at the moment, the creek. Just bringing that spin back in, I think, to change the pace up, make the batsman make the pace, and... Uh, you know, it's going to be harder, obviously, to hit it over the fence. And uh, look, we've got a deep square, deep mid wicket, and a deep long on. So, hoping to uh, buy a wicket as such. Back over the wicket this time. Cut out to the point boundary, just the single. Let's see if he goes back around the wicket now. He's obviously got a plan here to Russo. And he will be going back over the, uh, over the wicket by the look. So, just changing up some things. I don't mind this. He comes over the wicket this time. Oh, he's lofted that over cover. It's down the man's throat at point. Cover point takes the catch. That's a big wicket. A very big wicket for the Stallions. Important. Four for 111. Hundred and twelve, in fact. Langons Creek wines so attractive. Vibrancy, harmony, texture. Cellar door open, wine tasting available. 1640 Langons Creek Road, Langons Creek. Phone 0885 374 000. Bleasdales, since 1850. Are you a developer requiring road construction? Do you need a car park built for your customers' convenience? How would you like a stylish new Asheville driveway? Triple A Asheville, 20 Scarborough Way, Lonsdale. Phone 0883 9830. Lake Breeze Wines. We are proud of our heritage. Lake Breeze has earned an end. And back live here at Strathalban. And very good setting here for the final few overs. Tell your mates, get on Maryland's football and netball sporting results and watch a great finish here to this T20 game as the new batsman is Dan Crop, and he is just electrifying if he gets going. And the Stallions will know that, light, light. And continuing here will be, yes, that's Harris, isn't it? And he comes over the wicket, drops it short. They'll get a run here, the creek, just scamper through for a single. Backward of point. Russo out for 33. My apologies. Riki, the bowler there. 
This he batted be... well earlier. He did, and this will be his final over, I think. We'll double check that. Yep. Bowled the first three overs of the innings from this end. So I think he'll be coming up for his final ball. It's been a good spell. He's definitely kept the Stallions in it. Clever bowler. Just changing it up a bit there. In he comes now. Over the wicket. Pitches it up. Hit back to the bowler. No run. Frost can't score off the last ball of Reggie's spell. Sorry, crop it was. And that is the end of the over. Four for 113. Enviable reputation for consistently producing outstanding wines. 319 Step Road, Langhorn Creek, 85373017. Lake Breeze, outstanding wine since 1987. Cowden Insurance, cover for commercial and corporate businesses and liability. Comprehensive legal liability exposure and personal insurance. Office 102 Greenhill Road, Unley. Phone 0883 000 888. Cowden, insurance for all. Spacecraft joint. And a great team there. Cowden Insurance right behind our live stream here. So get on our page and make a comment who you think might win from here as Strath again bowling from the southern end and cracked out to mid-off by the likely uh, Frost and no run. So they'll be just looking to tie them down here, Jason. Get some dots in the book. Yeah, I think you're right, Bruce. Uh, I think our equation on the screen might be wrong, I reckon. It's actually uh, 37 they need. That one's pitched up outside off stump. And they scamper through off an inside edge for another single. I think it might be uh, 35 needed off of uh, 28. I think it is. We're in the 16th over now, are we not, Bruce? We are in the 16th. So it'll be interesting to hear, see here whether uh, the, the Creeks just play no risk, just play the ball around, you know, there's singles out there or whether Crop goes for the big shots and drops it down to cover and they run through for the former of what I've just said. And Smart, cricket. Single. Smart cricket. Smart uh, cricket. There's no major rush at this point. Well, we've seen Crop a couple of weeks ago out at, uh, down at the Creek and... Uh, against uh, Finnis and he just thumped some big shots and uh, I think he finished up about 40 not out in a great performance. So uh, a little bit different here though against the Strath attack as that's cracked through the covers. Sweeper out there. Could be a run out here if it is. Oh, that oh, was gone if it was a direct hit. Yep. That was suicidal. And the risk on that occasion goes in the favour of Langons Creek. Two on the scoreboard. Tell you what, I reckon if Horan had got back to the stumps a bit quicker too and been able to take that throw, I reckon they still might have had him. He was half a pitch length away when that ball went past the stumps. I think he was relying on the direct hit, wasn't mm, he? He was. Horan, in he comes again, full toss. That's crashed past wide mid-off. It'll split the gap. Will it go for four? I think it will. It has. Lovely shot. Off the back foot, just rocked back, cracked it past wide mid-off. And uh, the deep cover boundary fieldsman couldn't get around to cut it off. That's the value for your shot and the consistency of this oval. Wherever you hit it around the ground, you pierce the infield and you've got four on the board. Frost has been outstanding. He moves up to 27. That's an important boundary, I think, for, uh, for Langhorn Creek. Now they really can just push the ones. Put away the bad ball. Yeah. One to come. Comes. They need some dot balls. That one's pitched up on off stump, and they'll get through for a single. Just back of a length, in fact, it was in the end, but uh, no matter. One run, one, four for 122. Specialising in kitchens, cabinets, and joinery. Needing more space in your kitchen or thinking about upgrading? Call the team at Spacecraft for King Street Straff Album. Phone Nathan on 0885 364. 680. Platinum Ag Services. Looking to buy or sell livestock on the Flurio? Contact Ben Don't 0437 856 327. Any wool inquiries? Jeff Clark 0427 678 498. Platinum Ag. Putting Ag back in agriculture. We are back. 
And it is Langhorn Creek, you'd say, fairly firmly in control at the moment. Frost up to 28. They don't need to do anything silly at this point. Coming into bowl will be Gator. They are really not in just a smidge, uh, Jace. Four for one, uh, 122. Strath at the same comparison. We're four for 98. So just 24 runs in it. And we need 28 off 24 balls. Gators uh, bowled a uh, wide. That's to... not going to help the cause for the Stallions. They're going to look back at the extras, the wides that they've bowled. Too many free runs and extra deliveries bowled by the Stallions. It's going to cost them, I think, in the end. But I think that might be about the 13th wide. Mm. Not good enough. But in he comes. Now, that's on the stumps. Just poked out of there. Uh, they'll go through for a run that's gone to square leg. One is all they need at the moment, dealing in singles. Better ball from Gator. Four for 123. 124, in fact, I reckon we're up to now. So they're nearly there. Greg still with uh, Dan Cleggett, Troy Blackwell in the shed. Um, so I don't think there's too much worry for the Tigers at this stage. Good ball, well bowled, well fielded off his own bowling gator. Dot ball, that's what they need. And there are a few more of them. Balls and runs required, almost matching up. Still slightly in favour of balls. Into the 17th over now. In comes Gator again. It's pitched up on the stumps. Cracked through to mid-off. They get through for a single, and they'll come back for two on an overthrow. Oh, not uh, what they needed there. The Stallions had a shot at the stumps. It was on, but the backup fieldsman just couldn't get there in time. I think you've got to have a go. Yeah, you've got to have a go there. You can't blame me for that. This stage of the game, you can't, you can't hold back. You need the wicket. They're going to take a cheeky single and take you on. You've got to... Yep, you've got to have a shot at that. Uh, if, the, if you don't throw at the stumps there, the captain gives you the glare, I think. And he comes again, Gator. That one's short. And he's just sort of tried to rock back and pull that. Got it off the splice of the bat. Goes down to mid-on for a single. Didn't quite time it, did he? Definitely not. And a full house here... At the RSL for this big clash tonight. And there's been some cheers over there for the Stallions. I went in to try and get a ticket in the Chook raffle before, but apparently it's gone. In comes Gator. That one's pitched up a bit. Hoiked Beautiful up. Shot. Oh, oh, yep. That'll no one four. out there. Well, the run on, I th it's going to run on comfortably. That's four. Lovely shot. And that really does uh, put them in control now, the Creek, if they weren't already. Yeah, beautiful shot. Just uh, lifted it up over the top. And, of course, once it's through that infield, it is four all the way. It's been a great performance by Frost uh, coming into the side for, uh, I think it was either Shea or Mudge. So, uh, pretty handy inclusion. He moves to 33. Watchful on this one. Drops it to a point. And they've scampered through very quickly. And pick up another single to round out the 17th over. It's four for 132. Remington Wines. After experimenting with Cabernet and Shiraz, the first grapes were planted on our farm in 1991. Further plantings followed. Cabernet, Shiraz, Malbec, Merlot, Videlo, Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc. Remington Wines, 14 Kent Town Road, Langon Creek. To order, phone 85 373 093. Bremont Wines. It's our life. The rest is history. Is your machinery maintenance up to date for a full mobile service and repairs? Hay Plus Auto Electrical, 1 Donald Street, Strathalban. Phone 0428 820 487. We, we come, come to, to you. you. Ormond Turf, a special... Live from Strathalban and uh, here at Stallion Park. The home side in a bit of strife. 18 off 18 required. The Stallions need wickets and they need plenty of them. Langhorn Creek in control at the moment. Just simply won a ball is their equation with plenty of wickets in hand. Bruce, uh, 4 for 132. The Creek should win comfortably from here. Well, they should. 
But if you want to have your say, go on our Facebook page and make a comment who you think is going to win from here. And tell your friends to get on our page and like us. And we've got many events coming up with uh, the footy season. Uh, we'll be back covering the Mallee Football League as it is Horan continuing from that southern end and just slapped out to between cover and mid-off and just doing it very easily running through for the quick single now. Just coming down to have a committee meeting here now, Frost and uh, Crop. I think Frosty probably the president there and he's just told his uh, committee man there, Croppy, not to do anything silly. Good advice. Comes that's outside off stump, just poked through to cover at one run there. Um, the stallions in the field have been on their heels inside the circle, and at the moment, when it's 16 off 16, they have to get some dot balls and take wickets at the same time. I'm not sure that they need the four men out at the moment. Uh, one a ball, and they're going to lose. It's that simple. They need to get some guys inside the circle, and the ones that are there need to be on their toes. In he comes again. That's poked outside off stump, and they'll run through again for another easy single, and they'll get an overthrow, will no, they? they? No, won't. they won't. That might be a bit risky. Went too far. That's well, all they need, one a ball, and they're just doing it at will. But I think they might have actually said then, Jason, we're going to run on anything. Well, yep. we run a ball. We just hit it and run. And rightly so, because at the moment, um, Strath are not putting any pressure on in the field. They're back deep on the circle, defending boundaries. That's uh, down the wicket. Oh, hello. He, if he hits, he's out. No. Didn't even throw. And I think he heard about it from the balcony of the RSL there. Look, at some point, you've just got to say, enough of this. If they hit a four, that we're going to make, we're going to make them beat us in boundaries. Let's get some guys charging in to stop the single, because this is too easy at the moment for the creek. In he comes again. Shot down the ground. No, no run there. That's what they need. I'll need a few more of those to put any sort of real pressure on the creek at this point. Yeah, right on the money there. Good call, Jason. They need some dots in the book. But, uh, gee, with Dan Crop down that uh, non-striker's end, you just feel he's going to unleash a couple of big uh, hits and uh, finish this game up. Horan to Frost, smacked out to mid-off. They race through for a quick single. As quick as the uh, field is getting it, they've run through. There's no chance of a run out. And the end of another over, it's four for 137. All types of instant turf, from small orders to large. We have great varieties to suit your front garden. We can also arrange delivery. 1178 Langons Creek Road, Langons Creek. Place an order 0885. 373-243. Clemco Almond's new range of roasted almonds. You can try spicy, smoky and toffee coated roasted almonds or simply go for our scorched chocolate almonds. They are the best. Clemco, 633 Michi Road, Bletchley. To order phone 0418 804 105. Strathalbyn Auto Electrical provides a wide... And back live, we've got our little equation. What do we need, guys? 13 runs from 12 balls. So, uh, right down to the wire. I hope you're enjoying our coverage on Murraylands football and netball sporting results. It's Alexander and Eastern Hills Cricket T20 round three. As Gator comes in from this northern end. Big swing by Frost straight down the ground. Oh, and yeah. And good pressure by the batters. Good running. And well run to by Crop as they scamper through for two. A little bit of a fumble in the field down there by Roberts. Who? Wides and fielding are the things absolutely that have cost the Stallions. Yeah, the wides in particular. Yeah. We had uh, 13 wides. In comes Gator now. It's, uh, oh, that's smashed out to mid eye oh, to uh, square leg for four. Smashed. Just the sound off the bat then was magnificent. Middled every part of that. Split the two fieldsmen on the fence. Langhorn Creek in good position to be winning this game now. Just picked it up early, didn't he? Mm. And, uh, and followed through very nicely. The comparison after 18 was 4 for 137 as opposed to 4 for 126. So the gap, just 11 runs. And he's gone for that. Didn't quite middle it. Goes down to uh, mid on. 
and Ben Cousins comes around to do the fielding. So Gator's got the job at the death here. He really needs a couple of dots in the book. Dan Crop having a bit of a stretch there. Will he go for the the big hit? Still got a lot of them. We're bringing a fielder up now. It's the old adage, Bruce, in T20 cricket. You always try and get the total in the 19th. You never want to take the, the game to the final over. And I think that's what Langhorn Creek are planning on doing here. Six to win. So we've got a deep mid-wicket, a deep backward square, and a deep cover are the players out of the circle. Shot. And he's 15. Love that. Over the top of mid-on. They'll come back for two. Almost a bit of a tennis shot there, wasn't it? 15, love. Well, and he's seen the field. It's come up inside the circle, and that's the right option there. Hit it over the top. And you know what? When you're only four down, if you do get out trying to play that shot, it's not the end of the world. You've got some more guys in the sheds. And that really... Six to win. Can yeah. Dan Crop do it with one hit as they bring the field up now. So they've all come inside the circle. A deep cover, the deep backward square. No, he's, he's just got told to go back deeper where he was, but the deep mid-wicket has come up to square. So just the two outside now, which are the third man and the fine leg. So all the other players up inside the circle. Gator to crop. Oh, oh. big swing. And no ding. Did cleared he go that. for it right there? I think so. He cleared that front leg before the bowler came in, Gator. <laughs> um, he was ready to smash that into the RSL. But through to the keeper, no run. Four for 146. Four required for the Tigers. Gator. Oh, oh, over the keeper's head. That's how you win a game. That will go for four, and it will be the end of the game. No fieldsman there. The Creek win with an over to spare. Good well, game of cricket. Well done, Langhorn Creek. Good chase. They paced themselves beautifully, Bruce. Certainly did, and how unlucky. But that's the luck you have when you're in control. And by six wickets here at the Stallion Park with a edge over the keeper on the final ball of the match and running away through the goals for four. Certainly a lot of value for the shots with a fast outfield as Langon Creek win the match by six wickets. How did you see the game, Jason? Yeah, very good game of cricket. Uh, probably really the start of the Stallions' batting innings. They just didn't go quick enough. I mean, they were two for 50 at the end of nine, two for 54 off of their 10. They scored 99 runs, I believe it was, in the last 10 overs of their batting innings. So uh, they needed to get a move on uh, a little bit earlier than they did. They did in the second 10 overs and put up a competitive total to chase, but Langhorn Creek never in any real danger. Um, some pretty ordinary fielding at times from the Stallions didn't help their cause, but really, uh, when you bowl 13 wides and you haven't, you know, you've only made 150 yourself, you're not going to win too many games of cricket. Yeah, it was a good uh, a good total on the board, but uh, the Creek just have so much depth in their batting, and uh, as you said, the wides didn't help. Umpiring very well officiated. Um, just a great game of country cricket, and we have been very privileged to bring this to you. We'll have a little summary in a moment of the match. Um, so, yeah... Well Picking done. man of the match, what do you reckon? Uh, look, um, there's a few ways you could go. Obviously, I like Robert's uh, batting innings for uh, the Stallions. Uh, they batted really well, helped them set a competitive total. Um, you could look at Ben Warren, who did well with the ball uh, at times. Probably took a little bit of tap towards the end of the innings, but then certainly came out and set up the win with uh, quick fire 27. But really, um, for mine, I, I think the, the man you've got to look at is the man who set it up with the bat um, in the Langhorn Creek innings. Uh, Frost was very, very good with the bat. I know he didn't quite get to the half-century mark, but he was the man that guided them home in the end. So um, I, I think they were the best on the night. You'd have to go with, uh, with Frost as the most uh, important man on the ground. 44 off 28 balls, and he smashed six boundaries 
and he was just uh, in uh, great form and uh, certainly uh, got the Creeks home with that gallant performance. Uh, yeah, he just uh, come out from the start, didn't he? Smack three fours in his first few balls and, and turned the match. He did, uh, but don't underestimate that innings from Ben Warren either. Um, 27 off of a dozen balls. Uh, he really got stuck in early. And whilst uh, you'd say his wicket was a, a softish dismissal, when you're throwing the willow around like that, there's no, probably no such thing. He was playing a shot off every ball and really got his team started well. Uh, I think they were near 30 off of three overs, going at 10 and over in the, the early going. So that just takes an, a bit of pressure off your teammates later in the innings. Did a good job. So a summary of the match, and uh, it was Strathalbyn with Roberts, 53, and Riki with 20. And the best of the bowlers for the Creeks, it was Blackwell with 2 for 27, and Warren with 2 for 32. And they amassed uh, 149 from their 50 overs. Um, Langons Creek in reply, Frost, 44 not out, Russo, 34. And the best of the bowlers was Riki, 1 for 18, and Cousins, 1 for 31. So a win to the Creeks by six wickets in round three of Alexander and Eastern Hills cricket. And that will mean the grand final probably looks like being Langons Creek and Nan Bremer. And I think that will probably be played at the Creek on January the 2nd. So... We'll be there for that one, Jason. Uh, a live coverage again of the grand final, which promises to be another absolute uh, beauty in Alexander and Eastern Hills cricket. Many thanks for you for uh, your time this afternoon coming in to help our team. Um, although you are a smidge late, better late than never, as they say, we do <laughs> appreciate your help. And uh, it's great to uh, have you on board. And we certainly look forward to more of your help throughout the cricket and definitely in the footy season next season, mate. Looking forward to it as well, Bruce. Magnificent setup we've got here. Uh, obviously, nice following now on uh, the Facebook page and on Vimeo as well. So good to be with you. Hope you enjoyed the coverage. Uh, good night to you all, and uh, we'll be back again soon. We'll be back on Saturday for the big clash in Murray Towns cricket, Taylor Ben versus Wanderers. Hope you've enjoyed our coverage from Strathalban. Until Saturday, reminding you no matter what sport you play, be a good sport. Bye now.